All right, welcome. Hey, how you doing, Mathis? Hello, docile wings. Sup, Quella? World refrain. Got off work, I see. Okay, let me think about this. I wonder if I keep this between runs. Hello, Gluk, TL Smith, Iman, Simonai Dark, Overlord Shippo, Octavio, Allo Name, welcome one and all. The Erdrick, Miyokutsu. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with Hello, that bow on your back? Yes, I'm Fino. I need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Hey, Gunner Man, thank you for the 14 months. Hello there, boss man. Got Snake Woman and just Are she good? Snake Woman? Oh, you mean Cle Cleopatra? No. <laughs> hey, what's up, Salt? Hello, Teaspoon. What's up, Maybe Bot? There was kind of a baddie. Oh, my. Hey, what's up, Tree? Mommy Snake? Who the fuck is the mommy? Are you talking about Gorgon? Oh, got a tag along on your SSR. Your GSSR. Oh, you mean Ibuki. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of snakes. Come on. <laughs> God, give me a break. Ibuki? I like Ibuki. If you're looking for raw... Well, you know, I, I, funny, fun fact, I have a video on her. <laughs> that can enlighten you on this. But I like her, but, uh, you know, not the best for raw damage. Let me put it that way. All right. So... Yulia. Oh, no. All right. I can do that. All right, chat. I will give you, uh, before I complete this dialogue, I'll give you the rundown. So we are in this ancient Roman town, but it's like underground. It's like an Agartha situation. And, but we're from the present, right? And we somehow end up here. And what we have to do is uh, we have to prevent any murders from happening. Because what happens is that if anyone dies violently in this forgotten city, uh, they will, essentially everyone starts turning to gold and like the world ends and we have to loop back. Because we, we met someone who can create a, who made a portal or the phenomenon is tied to them. We can loop back in time to this moment to restart if we fuck it up and the world ends. And essentially, we're on a time limit because there's an election. And left to his own devices, the other guy is going to win the election, the bad guy. And his first order of business will be to kill someone, <laughs> which well, obviously uh, doesn't end Stop well. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Oh, also, uh, here, hold on. Give me a second. I forgot how to use my weapon in this game. Okay, left trigger is sprint. guy. Uh, once upon a time, this was a Skyrim mod, but this game as it stands is its own thing. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's see. Let me double check something. Sorry, guys. I need to look up my controls. It's been a long time.
Okay, right bumper should be... Pick a weapon. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Forgotten City. Hey, thank you for the 14 months, Emi Ashiro. What also kind of game is this? Never heard of it before? Ah, it's a very interesting game. I'll explain it to you in a second, but thank you very much for the 14 months. Sorry, I just need to remember how to equip my weapon in this game. Let's see. Scroll wheel? Oh, okay. There we go. Sweet. Ah! Oh. <laughs> we have a gun, by the way. But yeah, essentially how this game works is that, uh, yeah, I explained it to everyone a little bit ago, but I'll explain it again. We're a person from the modern era, and we're sent back in time to this ancient Roman underground city. And these people are essentially trapped here with no way out. But what happens is that it's under the dominion of the god Hades, as we found out last session. And what happens is that if anyone dies here, Hades will just fucking turn everyone to gold, and the gold statues will attack us with bows and shit. And so we can't let that happen. If anyone dies violently, let me clarify that. So essentially, we have to prevent any violent deaths from happening in uh, in this city, while also solving the mystery of uh, like Hades and shit like that. That's the TLDR. Or I guess since this is Rome, maybe Pluto. But you know what I mean. So we have a couple of leads, right? And I suppose we could go and make a conspiracy web if we really wanted to. Thank you for the 25 months, Beholden. Skyrim looks different. Ah, uh, this is the good, this is the good stuff. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? Do you stop deaths indefinitely? We're not sure yet. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit, I'm feeling fine, thanks. Ah, another stoic, perhaps. We all need something to help us through times like these. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night, contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule, and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. But yeah, essentially there's a lot of little does. moving parts here, but and one way we can prevent uh, the deaths from happening is that we... Is that we can influence the react or the yourself. election? Essentially. I know you're not from around here, but well, things are very difficult for us. Right? Also, how are you doing, Grey Wolf? There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. terrible fire in Rome, scapegoats. Oh, okay, so this is during Nero's reign or right after. Looking for a Roman plaque that was removed from the obelisk. Can you tell me where that is? Even if I had seen it, and I'm not saying I have. I couldn't in good conscience give it to you. That's all I'll say. Why the hell not? Perhaps the Magistrate would like to know about your beliefs. What you're doing is disgusting, and it's not going to work. Shame on you. What do you think of the Golden hmm. Rule? The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. All right, so she knows you where the Roman plaque about. is. I'd like to think Oh yeah, we're looking for some plaques that we can put on the obelisk. I think it's to open the temple, but I forget. As we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth, and that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? 
Oh yeah, we have an idea about the girl that we met at the very beginning. That's true. Because the girl that we met is named Karen, who leads us here. You don't think that's a little naive? Hmm. I suppose you've never seen what uh, and so, so at some point someone's like, hmm, that sounds a lot like Karen. The guy that takes people across the river sticks, and I'm like, oh shit. We're dying. Fair point. If that's true, then sooner or later, things are going to end badly for all of us down here. I have no idea how to, uh... Unless, of course, there's some kind of... How to work Octavia. Divine intervention. All we know so far is that she's a Kristen. Oh, there's gonna be some intervention, all right. Hmm. I wish I <laughs> What's your story? Here, in this place, the Magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. How'd you end up here? Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people. What year is this taking place? It uh, it's during Nero's reign. The scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The it's either during or right after Nero's reign. Water, rising up to At least uh, the people in this I city. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. Sorry to hear that. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. Let's hope so. Let's talk about something else. Like. No way out of here? I'm afraid not. Although, I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors. Wait a second. But if I thought that was a trick. And wealthy. You could look into it, I suppose. Like the, the way out was if a fake. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck I wonder here if we ever tried the gods, that. Uh, the gods decide our fate. I'll look into it. I hope it works out. I'm looking for Even a Roman if I plaque. I've seen it, and I'm not saying I have. I couldn't in good no. conscience give it to you. That's all I'll say. All right, fair enough. I'll be going. All there. right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. Oh, shit. If you lose your... Oh, that's right. This guy's going to kill fall. himself. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life? Working for a man who treats me like an animal. I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Alpheus. I it was missing. Please, please just think this through. If you do Everyone this, drowned here? I forget if that's the, the case. All of our fates. They are, they're all that's definitely died. I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. We're different, please, right? Please, Alpheus. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't actually believe I don't that ends it. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. I think a suicide would break the golden rule. I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. And a debt bondsman isn't far off. All right, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. <laughs> Is this what Sentila would want? You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You'd never believe me if I told well, you. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. Maybe I can help solve your problem. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed him. Is that why she's morning. sick? If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Yeah, Lucretia was able to get some uh, Sylphium in time to save her life. I wonder oh, how. Really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. 
Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Actually, wait, why do you need 2,000? Yulia and I are in debt bondage to Maliolus. Yeah, I saved in a previous loop, but at the start of this, I had the option of giving the medicine to the guy right at the entrance. And he rushes to uh, deliver that. Why'd you get yourself into so much debt? Oh, so it's my fault. Is that it? Come on! I, I'm offering to help you, know you what? idiot. Forget it. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Oh, Pierce, no! Wow, all right! I just asked how he got into so much debt and he fucking jumps? What a prick! I can't believe he went through with it. Literally, I tell him the person he's doing a suicide oh, pact with isn't dead. And he's like, oh, Hola. all right, you want to know about my finances? Fuck you. I'll have to let everyone know what's happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Well. Hey, thank you for the 45 months, Soma. For almost four years. Jesus Christ, dude. What you been up to? Alright, so we can either restart immediately... But I'm actually going to do something. I'm going to see if the items that I gave actually stay in my inventory. Because I gave... Oh! Oh, never mind! I keep the resin. That's interesting. The money I'm guessing I don't keep, but that's fine. I can always get more. Alright, so we blew the lead. We can get that right next time. Yeah, we blew the lead with the uh, the Roman plaque. The Roman plaque requires us to stop this guy from committing suicide, I think. Yeah, listen, I got a lot of denarii from uh, time loop shenanigans. Because of my money, I keep... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, boy, work it. Imagine twerking so hard that someone is, like, retching over here. Of course, Redfield! So I believe this villa is where the crazy lady lives, with that has like... Because as we find out, there are like people inside these gold statues. The problem is that uh, they don't have their sanity for the most part. They're like raving lunatic monsters when you uh, do that. When you like break them out, because they're like... They're alive, but they're, like, attached to the gold. So if you break them out, you're essentially, uh, flaying them. Assertious. So they, they go insane and they attack you. So it's really better not to fuck with them. Oh, there's three arrows right here. Yeah, we already got the, uh... I think, I don't know if we got the golden bow in here, but we resolved the plot thread in that area, I believe. Oh no, the bow is from uh, the temple, that's right. That we get trapped into by some asshole. Who wants the bow for herself? I think it was a lady that screwed us over. Yeah, we had a pretty nasty glitch uh, in that session, which wasn't the greatest. But it is what it is. Temple that collapses, I think. Oh, never mind. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be a Yoink. Different colored eyes. So if someone has different colored eyes and they are a dangerous person. Well, let's ask around. See if we know anyone. Ah, a new face. It was a so guy who wanted to turn And welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, 
so you can just call me Virgil. I really have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. Oh, hold on. Okay, uh, I'll be... Where are you going to work? Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. Alright. Alright, you know what? Fuck it, I'll do it anyway. Give me a second, chat. Let me make a little text thing. Uh, text. Yes. All right. Color. All right, that text is huge. I'm gonna have to make that a little smaller. Uh, let's go with a font uh, 22. Let's go with a font that's not microscopic. All right, I think that's good enough. Okay, so Virgil voting for Maliolus. Let's see if we can get any plot threads out of him. Oh God, this looks like shit. I'm gonna have to fix that. Hey, what's up, Zando? My vote Thank you for the 19 months. If that's what you're asking. Okay, so he's not changing it. Nice to talk to you. So Virgil's voting for Maliolus. We can't really change that. Salve. Hello there, friend. And may I say, that is a glorious bow you're carrying. Oh, is this the prick? Do you mind if I ask where you acquired it? Decius. I took it from the Shrine of Diana only to discover you'd locked me inside with angry hornets. I managed to escape after herring a deal in the palace and traveling back in time. Here I am. Uh, I mean, well, stranger. <laughs> Have you been out in the sun too long? You seem a little confused. Jesus Perhaps you should Christ. go and see Lucretia in a clinic. Uh, who are you voting for? Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? All right, here. Let me do this real quick. So, okay, so there's Decius. All right. Let me also make the font a little bigger. Decius voting for Maliolus rat fuck <laughs> traitor. <laughs> All right, <laughs> not going to happen. All right, he's not very well. Happen. All right, another time. All right, how about you, Fabia? Salve and welcome. Need something? I'll be going now. All right. Thanks again for taking care of I don't. I don't actually remember what Fabia's deal is. I won't forget it. Greetings and salutations. Greetings. I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner now. Oh, was she the assassin thing? We must stick together, you and I. All right, hold on a second. Give me a second. Dude, I gotta fix this outline. Give me a second. Yeah, what if I reverse it? Actually, that looks marginally better. Yeah. Okay, so, the Fabia, I forget, <laughs> Georgius, all right, so let's see what his deal is. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more, but yes, very well, ask me what you will. You know where I might find a Greek, oh, actually, who are you going to vote for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, ah, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so this guy is threatened by... Maliolus threatened by... Domitius. 
Greek lead. Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. Oh, sorry. My chat's in kind of an awkward place. I forgot text appears on that side. My bad. All right, where can I find the Greek? And in play? a city full of Romans, you are asking me because I am Greek. Let me tell you something about Greeks and Romans. My name is Georgios, yes, but the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios, and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman. <laughs> they do this all the time. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. They take Hades and call him Pluto, Persephone, Proserpina. I am flattered that they copy our ideas, but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up, and I become Georgius the Roman. His name I is Z. the world is Roman. Plus, I have no hair left to pull. But my point is this. If you want to know who stole an old Greek name, look no further than the sticky-fingered Romans. The plague you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Dooley. Greek relics by none other than Dooley. Uh, he cannot help it. Like Dooley, a typical Dooley. Roman, he likes shiny things, especially those that once belonged to my people. And besides, it makes him happy. So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still has it with him, in his cell. Just opposite the Temple of Demeter. All right, thank I you. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. It's actually quite a good lead. Oh, what's up, Yulia? Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Galerius just saved my life. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia Maybe now's a bad time to tell him is or tell her her lover is dead. What do you think about the golden rule? Our priestess at Quatia once told me it's the god's way of creating a city without sin. But if that's the case, then whichever god is responsible for it didn't think it through. I mean, all it really does is make bad people better at hiding their sins. And good people too frightened to stand up for themselves. I've seen Maliolus, Claudia, and Domitius make grown men cry. Romans. They don't cry easily. They've never physically hurt anyone. But the point is, they don't have to. They've got people running scared because everyone knows Maliolus is the favorite to win today's election. Can I help? I doubt it. I mean, the election is today, and you've only just arrived. Oh, wait a second. If we save the guy's life to do and free anything. him, he may have his vote. We'll see about that. I suppose we will. Are we out of here? If that's your idea of a joke, it's not funny. Go away. All right. Fuck. That's Horatius. That's quite an impressive thing. Just like Diana's. I know where the prison is. Keeping an eye on things, Horatius? As always, Mr. I gotta remember where the prison is. No sense of humor in this city? I suppose not. Oh, sweet. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either, but sure. Hey, 167 denarii. In a city of gold, silver is... Yo. Hello? Hello. Have we met before? We have, Dooley. About the Greek plaque in your cell. Do you like it? It's shiny, isn't it? I could give you a lot of shinies. I'm happy just looking at it. I could turn your cell into gold. But if 
I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore, and I'd be sad. In it for something very important. But it's mine, and I really like it. I want to keep it. All right, what's it going to take for you to give it to me? Um, well, if you get me out of here, if then I, I wouldn't you need it there, anymore. I, mean, I could shoot the lock I'd already stuff. be happy. Then you could have it. I don't and think you'd, you'd be free be for happy long. Too. Maybe if we had a new magistrate. Like, Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. So all I need to do is persuade everyone to vote for Galerius? Yeah, Galerius will let me out. Then you can have my plaque, and everyone will be happy. Alright. Bye-bye. So we have to convince Galerius to run for office? Hello. Have we? Yes, we bye met bye. literally like five seconds ago. Okay, so we have to essentially change the way the election works. I did not do it duly. I mean, that's pretty compelling. Okay, so next uh, next walkthrough, we're gonna have to set up like an entire election campaign for Galerius. Hey, what's up, Steel? I mean, that's fine, because Maliolus is kind of a prick anyway. It's the way it down to the bottom. Hey! Hey! It's a Jesus fish! <laughs> you worship a Jesus in there? Right here, let's check our leads. Okay, so Olivia Galerius, upper sister. Navia. Navia and Maliolus. Ah, that's right, the secret admirer thing. Alright, so you gotta find Rufius, Equitia. Okay, so we got a couple of leads. I'll try talking to the priestess. See if we got anything new there. Hey, how you doing, your pocket whale? A new Thank base. you very much. And may or the tier three sub and sixteen I months. Hope you've been doing well. To my sweet sixteen, visit. did you get me something nice? I have been very busy, but happy belated New Year and happy belated New Year to you too. Well, listen, I got you the gift of ancient Roman murder mystery violence. Uh, also Metal I Gear. Your pardon? <laughs> oh my. But that's for another day. Quite a lot to take in. You'll have to give me a moment. Let's see. If that is indeed Dude, Equisha is taking this whole we're in hell thing really we well. We better figure out what to do about it, hadn't we? We don't have much to go on except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Aeneas, Hercules, Hercules was Orpheus. able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus okay. both relied on their wits instead. 
Oh, is she talking about the four endings, I guess? So we have strength, Prosperina's help, Aeneas with a secret exit. So I'm guessing the cistern thing is the secret exit. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld head on, or find a way to escape. Summertime moment, I bet someone here really wants to play FF7 remake. It's us. That's why you gotta escape. <laughs> Man, I wanna watch that anime again. Don't you just love springtime? Galerius! Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible? You've just arrived here, and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them. I'm reliving the same day over and over again. Uh, you're toying with me, right? Wait, you're not kidding, are you? Dude, if you want That's anyone on your side in a fucking time loop, it's, it's Mr. Clean. You're a bit like... Oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Like Sisyphus, Sisyphus how so? was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible... Yeah, this guy's pleasure. very quick on the he update. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom. Forcing him to start over and over and over again. For all eternity. Just like you. Holy shit. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp a fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. Hey, Galerius, let me tell you the story about a man named Master a Chief, and he flung himself oh, off a bridge. Oh, Ixion was strapped to a wheel going uh, round and hour round after forever. hour, day after day. But on the bright side, <laughs> so he could skip fighting some aliens. Like they all were. Go, go on. Anyway. I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. And you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. You're a good man, Galerius. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. Dude, this guy's such I'm a bro. Fortune. May fortune smile on you, friend. All right, uh, Galerius, I need you to win an election. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? All right, uh... Yeah, what's your story? Well, it's a long one, and kind of I don't sad, think I've ever asked him what his story is. I don't mind telling it. I have time. I'm a farmer. Listen, Always this timeline's happy. fucked anyway. We felt the same that one I grew up in a small guy. village in Britannia, Camulodunum. With my parents and two little sisters. Oh, lovely part of the world. British. One day, when I was about twenty, well, my father Roman. and I were in the top Still. paddock loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground. Jesus. And the cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. Jesus Christ. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. It still burns whenever I think about it. Holy yeah. shit, dude. Well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So... 
Then I found myself being transported. Yeah, the guy running the Britain around Rome. that time of Boudicca's Rebellion was a real bidder. motherfucker. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways. Romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Ah, there we go. Stumbled across this place, and I started my life over again. God, things worked out in the end? That's what I thought, too, for a while. But I'm it seems dead, the gods but... aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again. Safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or, so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, Sentius. of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then, what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his, one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away No, sometimes. it's not Galerius, come on. Sure. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Listen, this guy's, this anyway, guy's that's seen enough some shit. Me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Let's see. No way out of here? Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius's daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. Okay, what do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much. Oh, yeah. Fun Malio fact about the uh, Bodica's Rebellion. Even I could do a better job. I think me, in the final the battle, farmer. she was actually beating the shit out of the Romans for a, a while. Toga in my life. But what happened eventually was that, um, I think it was called the Battle of Watling Street. There was like this, um, this area where essentially Bodica had caught up with the Romans. And she essentially threw her entire army. It was a massive fucking army to straight at them. But the problem was, this was a choke point. And because the Romans could essentially maintain their defensive line, Boudicca's army got bogged down and they got packed so tightly that they couldn't fight effectively. And that's when they started getting slaughtered and when they ran back, what had happened, if I recall correctly, was that essentially the baggage train, like all the civilians, the camp followers, stuff like that, all the equipment, was following close on their heels because they were expecting to just keep going. And so what happened was that when Bodica's army ran back into this baggage train, they got trapped in it and essentially got massacred. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean... He talks a lot about freedom, so I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. And that's good enough for me. Why is Dooley in a cell? Because Sentius put him there. Poor Dooley was just wandering around looking for some imaginary treasure. Now a magistrate accused him of being a thief. That's <laughs> nonsense, of course. Dooley's the most harmless man you'll ever meet. But Sentius really has it in for him, for some reason. You can have a word with Sentius. As Nimaliolus runs, he's gonna break the golden rule and kill us all. And how could you... Oh, wait. You've seen it in another time loop, haven't you? Dude, this guy... Well, <laughs> this guy, case, this guy gets it. You find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left... Oh, okay, him. so we have Deal. to find a way of getting Maliolus to bail out. All right. All right, friend. Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. Feeling when Nito got a Avenger before Boudica. 
Yeah, they had like the little nod to Bodica in Summer 2, but that was really about it. Send yes. I hope you have a good reason for flouting my weapons ban. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Fina, we've, and we've had yeah. this conversation before. Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed, and you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? We had this conversation too, and I'm in a hurry. Seems rather brash, but all right. Why have you sought me out? I better get back to it. Thank you. I'll be waiting here. <laughs> that was a terrible conversation. All right, so Sanchez can't actually help us with any of this business. All right, so this is probably the easiest conversation in the game for me to fuck up. So let me just make a save. Hey, Fina what's up, Horatius? What is it, citizen? You're talking about Centilia? What business is that of yours? I'm looking for her. A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Some fresh eyes help. Sometimes fresh eyes help. Hmm. I suppose that's true. You notice anything suspicious? Centilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. All right. Fine. I don't really want to bluff. All right. I don't actually. Please at present, I don't think he actually had anything that might to do lead with us it. to Centilla. This guy seems like a an upstanding, if arrogant fellow. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. Oh, God, what do you new. want, asshole McGee? All right, whatever. I trust you can see yourself out. She's utterly useless. Well, I guess we need something on her before we can actually. Keep an like, eye none of those dialogue you. options are useful. So we need something as like a conversation starter. Uh, civilian caravan, the Romans killed everybody, including the pack animals, women, and children. Yeah, the, things have gotten very ugly around that time. Because you see what Bodica did. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, wait. There we go. I used the regular bow. <laughs> oh, wait, why do I only have four bullets? I thought I, 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 my save. Oh shit. Oh shit, I used the wrong save. All right. It's fine, I gotta go one save back. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I did, uh, if I go two saves back, I'm good, because I think I, I popped someone in the face with my gun your at the end of last magistrate. session. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. I'm delighted and I'm deeply honored. This is some Assassin's Creed shit. I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Um, under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. And, uh, yes, uh, well, well, I'm gonna, gonna find a way to make sickness this landing without dying. No more should you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe because the tyrant Satius. I was wondering why I had four bullets. Dude, I fucked this up. My first act. My first act. It's fine though. On the return trip, what we can do is we can go straight into the uh into helping our buddy win the election. A day of celebration. I get upstairs though. I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. Yes. Yes. That at any point in time I can just whip out the gun. It's awesome. Oh hey! I'm not supposed to be in here. I know. Where do you keep your valuables? Domitius, come quickly. 
We're being robbed. This is outrageous. The many shall suffer for the sins oh no. of the one. <laughs> All right. Okay. New plan. Okay, I think this was my last real save. Let's check. Just a prank, bro? Wait, what happened? Didn't it load? Oh. Maybe I press no. Hold on. All right. So new plan, this time we go and save the guy. A troubled there. Still no sign of Centella. And I wonder how much one of these bridge. statues is worth. I don't. Be too hard on yourself. Alright, let's check. Okay, we have the golden bow. We have our gun with all our bullets. Excellent. Alright. So tell you what, let's make some progress on a different thread, then we can revisit the ones we just did. What if there is something I can do? What if she's out there somewhere, suffering, waiting to be found? Sounds like you're torturing yourself. Leave that I for the gods. Uh, Try to relax. Get some rest. Exhausted. Tomorrow's a new rheumatism. Day. What about it? I suppose you're right. Ah, I bring it up then. <laughs> this is a hell of an angle. If I did, <laughs> do you think we'd be having this conversation? You know, I find a Roman plaque. No idea what you're talking about. Alright, I think you're lying. And I think you're an imbecile if you think that's going to work on me. Shit. Cerberus lifts his triple head. Alright. Yeah, let's get some other leads going. Maliolus. Quintilus. We can also talk to a cultist. Georgius. Yeah, we get the Georgius line going very early. And lets out his threefold grave. Livia. Livia. Livia's busy. Would you stop muttering like Madeira over a cauldron? You scare away our customers. Hey, what's up, Nom? What's happening? Oh, we're solving a mystery. Uh, the mystery of where my bullets went, <laughs> which was to the wrong save file. Yo, look at you, Demetrius. Another club three blocks away, down. Huh, lovely. I'll be going. Whatever. Now. Just remember, I'll be watching. The fuck is my boy Maliolus? There you are. Do I have the bounty? I do. They went into potentially guilty adults. I mean, fair play. Meliolus. Get out of my villa before I have Demetrius throw you out. All right, now you've crossed a line. Get out of there. I haven't said anything yet. All right, you're not getting anywhere with him currently. So I guess we did something to piss him off this uh, this time around. Isn't the great temple magic Ave again? Did you find what you need? Certainly. Alright, may never Fortuna mind. guide you. Right, whatever, let's get the uh, the lead again with Georgius for the Greek plate. He's not here. You, sir. Uh, hello? Bye-bye. Okay, I need to talk to George just to get the line to talk to him. Shit, shit, shit. Wait. What the fuck? I can ask Creed up there? I'll have to check what's up there later. Hey, how you doing, Fro? Holy shit, what happened to this guy? 
Uh, thank you for the 51 months, bro. I was wondering why you didn't have access to... the Tomoe Cope. Ah, Copium. It's an essential element. happened in there? <laughs> there we go. Ave. Hail to gun. Okay, so Olivia has her fucking hell shack down here. Okay, one of those wheel skeletons? Is this the golden bow? It is the golden bow. Eh. Oh, sweet! So that's how you get here. Alright, easy does it, Mr. Vino. Take that. I'll take that. Alright, we found the Roman plaque. Hell yeah. Alright, let me save just in case uh, this leads to violence. Oops. Oh, well, right, I just made a new save. Uh, excuse me, miss. Said, please leave. You're trespassing. Come on. I just want to talk to you. All right, fuck you. Fine, I'm a, I'll leave. Dick. What? What do you want? Where, are you, where the fuck are you going? What an extraordinary lamp. I like how I'm running around with this gun out. Isn't actually a problem because no one here. No one here knows what a gun is. Oh, it's so pretty. I know, right? What an extraordinary lamp. Oh, you're talking about this. I hope you're coping. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, so soon? Well, be gentle on yourself. We're all dealing with a tragic loss today. Alicia, I found the Roman plate. Ave again. Did you find what you need? I'll be going. See you again soon, I hope. Okay, so let's see. So we got the Roman plate. So there's a mystery plate that only the... the whispers can lead us to. Egyptian plate. We gotta worry about the tavern. Tavern and we gotta find Georgius somehow. I guess he might be near the tavern. Because he's not at his store. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Do I know what molding is? Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. Full story. I figured it out. I know where we are. Say it. Speak its name. The underworld. Then it is true. I was right. Yes, you crazy lady. You are actually right. I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting <laughs> the, the metamorphoses house. by our great the poet house. It's found its new host, He gives Hades. such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? 
Yeah, actually. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path. You want to turn towards me, or is the fire really trees. that warm? It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those at last given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous okay. lives. Yeah. And still others incur so punishment. I hope I have done it justice, and now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Oh, thank you, friend. I think I should rest. Oh. Beautiful. You stay away from my money. No, I know that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to take your money. That would incur the wrath of the gods. I'm looking for Georgius. Hey, a bottle of wine. Hot damn. Oh, that's right. This is Livia's uh, hell. Where the fuck do these people even go? Before the uh, things start. Oh shit! Is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. Alright, uh, they're gonna kill him. So here's what I'm gonna do I am going to teleport. I'm gonna first steal this guy's treasure. Hey, idiot. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Get the fuck out of here. Shit. Oh, slow him. Hut. Oh, my frame rate. A little money goes a long way. Oh. Is he supposed to be a skeleton? Whatever, doesn't matter. Yo, Galerius. Salve, friend. All right, I'm Fino, and I have some very urgent business for you. Yulia. All right, let me see. All right, I'll go. go but... You go that way. I'll save a uh, suicidal guy. 
Let me check to make sure I have the plate. Okay, we have the Roman black. Good. I can equip it to Arceus once we're done here. Hey, what made you rocks? Thank you very much for the 43 months. Hope you've been doing well. Forgot about this game story. Essentially, we can't do violence or uh, everyone, the statues come alive and kill everyone. This is the TLDR. We can't steal as well, apparently. I forget. Something like that. Yep, there's suicidal guy over there. Oh, a convention. Which one? Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to... Actually, I need to talk to Obvious right, right well, now. I can't believe this is how it ends. Obvious, wait! Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Obvious, what? That's the... What? Why do you... I'm... Please... I'm sorry. Please help. All right, I'll talk to him. Thank you. This is what Sentinel would want. You know about that? Well, oh, hi, Akon. I you see. don't understand. I can also solve your if problem. I... Oh, that was. Actually, I do. Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you then. No, you'd be free. You'd do that for us. Couple of complete strangers. Dude, you look like you run an emo band. Of course. It seems today we are both blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Thank you, friend. I never thought people like you existed. Here's your money. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. I just wish there was some. Okay, I stole I it from Maliolas, Maliolas in a different timeline. But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. Don't worry about I'll it. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolas and tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. No problem. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm thankful that you're here. Can I help you with something? I'll be going now. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Another time, then. All right. Good. Now we got to get to the forum, talk to Georgius to get a lead on the Greek plate. And then with that, we can talk to uh, Dooley in the cell. And then once we have that information and his condition for giving us the uh, Greek plate. Or Greek plate. Ah, oh, I fucking stepped in fire, idiot. Yeah, once we have that information, uh, we can get Galerius's uh, campaign going. Hey, what's up, Bills? Yo. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, oops, I went to the wrong one. Have we? Bye bye. Oh, Mr. Time is fun stuff, Ivalara. Time, Dacius. I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. But how am I gonna get one myself against someone else with a weapon? There are Wait. no other weapons in the city. We all went along you with the magistrate's weapon span, so it Greetings. wouldn't be an issue. Oh, Georgius. That's why I've got to get him first before someone Knife. else beats me to it. And it uh. might be time at back the plate. Uh, at... Hey. Alright, so we already had these conversations, so I'm just skipping them. Malio has just released us, and we never have to set foot in that villa again. What? How? The newcomer arranged it somehow. Yeah. Ooh. That's incredible. Oh, what a relief. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Just rest up, get your strength back, and we'll celebrate properly when you're ready. I will. Thank you, Olpius. I will. Hey. 
Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. You there, Hello? Dooley. Hello. Hey, about that Greek plaque. Like... May I oh. have it? It's really oh. important. I'll pay you. Like... Yeah. Oh. All right. So now we find Galerius and we talk to him, then we can start prepping his campaign. And hopefully I haven't messed anything up. To think I'd be running this guy's uh, political campaign in this ancient Roman murder mystery. Alright, now I need to find where the fuck Galerius is. Galerius? Hmm. A golden bowl. Just like oh, the bowl and the shiny. Where the fuck is he? Normally he'd hang out here, but I guess we might be a little early. Let's see what's up in this, uh... Okay, so this guy's already dead. Sweet. Alright. We just gotta locate Galerius. Where'd he go? He's not back over at the start, is he? Don't look like it. Oh shit, shit, shit. I don't have time to waste. Where the hell is this guy? Mr. Clean, I need you! Maybe he's in the temple? Your drink, you'll show up. And you see, you. I thought there was someone up here, but I guess not. Maybe he's at the tavern. I'll pay the tavern a visit. Running around like a fucking psychopath. Oh, never mind. That's the that's the money that I can't get access to right now. So we could all alternatively go to Maliolus. Try to Cerberus talk to him immediately. lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold graying. Okay, no, these guys aren't here yet. So the voices said the priestess, but like we've spoken to the priestess, we don't have new dialogue yet with her. Yeah, this is the one where I have a gun. Actually. Holy shit! Nice. Might just be too early in the morning. Well, my sartorial friend. Welcome. These people are running around all over the place, and I can't find any of them. Okay, this is. I hope you're coping. Ilia. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. You know where he is? I, I'm really looking for him. Just saved my life. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. What do you think about the gold? Oh, world? a priestess, I, but I mean, I've they they've got. Okay, so we wait. Really? You mean my life story? Okay, we'll get our life story and then oh, we'll go look for Mister Clean again. Well, he was I chilling out in front of this area last time. Family in Rome. 
me and three older sisters. Our father found good husbands for my sisters, but I wasn't uh, cut out for that kind of life. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent <laughs> merchant. It was a good life for a while. Until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan. But they fell on deaf ears. The fire was relentless and it claimed oh. everything. What? And everyone. Well, almost everyone. My you employer built up told speed. me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber with the crowds. I remember diving into the river and then... The next thing I knew, I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. I hear that. Thank you. I consider myself fortunate. At least I'm still alive. All right. Goodbye. Alright, save. I'm gonna sprint back to the start, maybe he's there. If that fails, I'm gonna go check on Maliolus, maybe see if I can, uh, threaten him into quitting the race. Okay, no, Galerius is gone from here. He's somewhere in town, but not in the usual place. That's very mysterious. And worst comes to worst, I could always just restart um, the, the loop once the election goes through and just do the election stuff immediately. On your best behavior, I trust. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? Thank you. Uh, thank you. I am. Mr. Maliolus. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? So you're. Quintius. Yeah? My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused me with someone else. Yeah, one green eye and one blue eye. Just like the description in this execution order from Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Yeah, well, Alexander, Alexander the, great the Great is dead. It too, so we can't exactly go and cut off his head. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. Apparently, Quintius also suffers from delusions of grandeur. <laughs> My mistake. Never mind. That's quite all right. We all make mistakes. I'll be going I trust now. you can see yourself out. Yeah, let's see if his wife will rat him out. Excuse me, miss. I'm not supposed to be in here. Can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? How would you like some help at getting back at Maliolus? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. I don't think he's who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch, I was hoping we'd figure out his true identity together. You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. 
Now, addressing right? one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... Questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... Wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? I want to force him to withdraw from the election. To withdraw? Listen. I may not be Penelope to his Ulysses, but to ruin his plans to become a magistrate? You must think me quite mad. Oh no, we fucked I've it up. Enough. Get out of here at once. Domitius, come quickly. We're being robbed. Asshole. Alright, so we'll have to get that right next time around. <laughs> Domitius ain't doing shit, dude. <laughs> Boy, how did you get in there? Shut up. All right, can we talk about Centilla? Centilla and I were Centilla. in love, and then, twenty-two days ago, she went missing. I'm gonna start from the beginning. All right. One night. Oh, so he's ago, the secret to figure out what I was cleaning Maliolis's villa. I heard a young woman singing. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever heard. I wasn't allowed out, so once everyone else was asleep, I climbed up the inside of the villa and onto the roof, just to see where that sound was coming from. And that's when I saw her, standing in the garden of the magistrate's villa. I just sat there on the uh -huh. roof, listening to her with my chin on my knees. And for the first time in a long time, I felt hopeful. And then she looked up and saw me and she smiled. I knew at that moment the fates had brought me to her. And from the moment she asked my name with this warmth and curiosity, I knew I'd have done anything for her. And so, for weeks on end, each night I'd climb out of the villa and into her father's garden. We'd hold hands and talk about all the things we'd do once we got out of here. Like having our own vineyard. And then one morning I woke up and everyone was out searching for her. They said she'd vanished in the night. All I could do was keep my head down and try to hide how beside myself I was. Possible she escapes somehow? All I know is she loved me. And if she had known a way out, she would have told me. She'd never have taken her own life. And there's no way anybody could have killed her under the golden rule. So she may have been I can't kidnapped. prove it, but I just know she's still alive somehow. Even now, it's as if I can hear her voice in my head, crying out to me. That can only mean one thing. Somebody... Abducted, abducted her. her. All right. I have no idea how or who would want to do something like that to such a sweet, lovely girl. But what else could have happened? Any ideas? My guess? Maliolus had something to do with it. He is without doubt the most evil man I have ever known. I have no idea where he'd be keeping her, but there is one room in his villa, upstairs which is always locked. I've never seen the inside of it. And I haven't been able to steal a key without breaking the golden rule. But I have a feeling that if you could ah. get in there somehow, it would shed light on a great many things. I already tried that. Really? I was sure- <laughs> I already I tried that apparently. I feel like I've looked everywhere. At least everywhere I could get to. There are still two places I've never been able to reach. First, the palace. If Navia managed to get in, then I suppose Centilla could have too. The only other place she could be is somewhere in the cistern network. I remember hearing that Dooley had been poking around in the upper cistern before he was locked up. So you could ask him about it, I suppose. Alright. I'll see what I can do. What are you gonna go for? Sentius, 
I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. Fair enough. All right, I'll be going now. All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. Thea is proof of a degenerate mind. Are they? Hey, what's up, Dalong? Dude, I'm still trying to find Galerius. He just vanished. Feeling all right? Oh, I guess we've already shame. exhausted all these conversations. Thanks options. again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. <laughs> can I can I trouble you all? <laughs> I lost my boy Galerius. He's vanished into the ether. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff, I bet it's worth a fortune. Alright, well, whatever. Maybe this guy will help us out. Hello? Hello? Bye-bye. Shit! Was he my mind? There's only, like, three places in this town where normal people congregate. And I haven't been able to find this guy at any of them. How utterly baffling. Ooh, that's... That's quite a fall. Oh, sweet. Treasure? Oh, I do love me some treasure. Oh! oh. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Yeah, I'm checking the rooms of these people. Degeneracy is mandatory, huh? This is your vinyl warning, sinner. Sinner? Wait a second. Huh. All right. I'm not gonna steal that. Someone was having fun, apparently. Pretty sure if I take this, I'm gonna start a fucking. I'm gonna start the apocalypse. It's a denarius. It's a denarius. Herb rack. All right, you know what? Let's take a chance. Oh, all right. Apparently that's not theft. The 49 melodies fetch again with incessant labor. Hey, what's up, Mr. Scout? Three years, eh? To be perfectly honest, I thought people would be sick of my shit at this point, but I'm more than happy to stick around y'all if you'd have me. Hey, we're glad to have you, Mr. Scout. Thank you very much for your support. My boy Galerius vanished! He's gone! This is bullshit. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. Oh, whatever. I bet it's worth a fortune. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, what on earth? What in the goddamn? 
Oh, nice loading. There we go. There's a long cave down there. Dude, this is someone's hideout. gift of Prometheus in your hand. Remarkable. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? Oh, it's another weapon I was expecting. Well, here's the thing. It's a sincere pleasure to So, meet. at the start of the game, you have Tell the option of picking a couple of perks. The, the perk I picked was here. gun. I'm looking for Kabash. Ah, Kabash. I know Kabash. this man. He came through here some weeks ago. I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I've been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody astute. Oh no! I'm hoping that person is you. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? Pluto. Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. Very few come to that realization before their time in the sun is over. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic dialogue? Sounds easy Wonderful. Enough. Then let me begin with a question. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? I'm not sure. It's a complex question. You are an overthinker, too. We're the same, then. It is probably why I became a philosopher. But if you struggle with right and wrong normally, then down here with the golden rule, surely your struggle can only have become more difficult. It is. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable. Because if the statues start moving, whatever I did was probably wrong, true. So we would Big tell true. lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize, and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass execution. So to navigate this maze, we will oh, have to Oh, by the way, Chad, I forgot if I mentioned this already. Right and wrong. But this is a goal stream agree? brought to you by one Mr. Real Pocket Whale. So thank you very much, Pocket Whale. Let's see. It would have to be whose version of right and wrong? That is an excellent question, and it leads directly to my next line of inquiry. So let me ask you this. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct? No. Which you could follow Listen, in if there every was. situation and always do the right thing? Hmm. Nope. Are you sure? Or is it possible that humans... Well, listen, gun hasn't been an acceptable right uh, answer to a lot of my problems here. So I feel like... I, I feel like the answer is murkier than I thought. I think there's no such thing as a correct morality. So is it up to each of us to decide what right and wrong mean to us individually? Or must we simply follow the laws and customs of whichever community we're in? Hmm. I think we need to decide for ourselves. So if a man feels that stoning to death his unfaithful wife is right, then is it right? Well, that's someone, that's someone else's definition of not right. I agree. Right. But why? Didn't you just say right and wrong depends on the individual? Fine, I'll take that back. And that's a credit to you. Yeah. It is the mark of a civilized they person got me. to change their position when presented with a superior argument. All right, what's your My point? My point is this. 
I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. All right, that's agreeable. Fair point. If there is one thing I have observed yeah. about plenty of circumstances, uh, it is that virtuous people do not find to kill them, people. And well, I can't pick that people second option. Will always find a way around them. And so we must accept our limitations and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote, a line that can be approached but never reached. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. This and no other is the root from which a tyrant springs when he first appears as a protector. And life under tyranny is no utopia at all. Life under tyranny is no utopia at all. I agree. I'm glad to hear that. In any case, thank you for humoring an old man. All right, now let's I settle everything down here so I never have to questions. go through this dialogue tree again. Yeah, you're not gonna find a plaque that was removed from the obelisk. You seek the plaque bearing the Egyptian inscription. That's it the is one. A cursed object. Oh, tax the plebs coming out from I'd soon. I'd be happy to give it to you if Kabash had not already taken it. Give me a second. Tax the plebs coming out. All right, tell me where Kabash is. I will tell you, but you may find him. Hostile. Hostile? To prepare for your encounter, there are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples, oh, okay. and the people. When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the Shrine of Persephone became the Shrine of Proserpina. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them here. Out of reach. Uh, okay, so we're in the Temple of Demeter, not the Temple of Apollo. Okay, I'm with you However, so far. However, there was one thing that always seemed out of place to me, and it is the very thing you seek. An even older plaque bearing an Egyptian inscription. All right, what'd it say? We had no idea until years later, when the first of my friends began to die. As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this cavern to lay them to rest. We extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally oh, discovered okay. another, an even older tunnel, which somebody had gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Suddenly it made sense why there was an out-of-place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts for stealing- Wait a second. So this But it turns out this game has been going on much <laughs> What? This ancient years. Roman I think it is underworld is actually the, the ancient Greek underworld, but it's actually the ancient strength. Egyptian underworld. There are certain things you must see for yourself. Take this key. We're gonna have to throw hands with Osiris at the end of this. Alright. Ha! Huh. If I did, would I be living like this? You mean, how did I end up living alone in this cave with nothing but these relics of the past for company? It's a long story. Yeah, listen, if we go deep enough... I was a quarrelsome young man. We'll have to throw hands at with... 19, uh, we'll have to throw I hands with a Reshigal. for Rome to study rhetoric at one of her finest academies, so I could argue more forcefully. Back then, I used to enjoy verbally sparring with everyone I could, and I was good. One night I found myself in a tavern, in an argument with a drunk mercenary. It became heated, he drew a gladius, and I won the argument, but lost my life. Oh. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, I failed. 
I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could, quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the Golden Rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. You see, I was not the first to take refuge here. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and twelve of us descended for the last time to live out our days hidden from Hades' tyranny. Oh. Why can't you tell me your name? I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city... Even oh, so he survived the multiple Hades golden rule like apocalypses. Me, and know I am still alive. Okay, fair enough. Where's everyone else? I'm afraid I am the only one left. There were 12 of us in the beginning. But one by one, my friends passed away. Some for malnutrition, others for Or it could be that they, they haven't had an apocalypse despair. since it he got here. It has been lonely. Before my unexpected visit from Kabash some weeks ago, I had not seen another person in many, many years. Okay. They are one and the same. The Romans call him Pluto, but long before that, my people called him Hades. Why can't you return to the surface? My generation was wiped out, turned to gold. Okay, okay, so being down here actually does save them. My friends and I were able to avoid the same fate by hiding down here. I think it's safest to assume that if I was to return, Hades would realize that his furies hadn't finished the job, and he'd send them after me again. Fair play. How long have you, or have you arrived down here? Living in darkness is not without its challenges. First challenge. There's fresh life. fish in hell? Fortunately, Not bad. I found that eating fresh fish provides most of the nutrients I need. And sometimes, when there are Greek people living up above, I surface at night and salvage the offerings they've left in the temple of Demeter. The greater challenge is the isolation. So I like to imagine arguments where I argue both sides. Oh, Jesus. But, like so many things in life, arguments are better. With a partner. Wow, holy shit. As you wish. I enjoyed our chat, but please keep my presence here a secret. Yes. I will. Alright, chat, give me a quick second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, let's go find this uh, Kabash fellow. Which way did we come from? I think we came over here. What the heck? Oh, this leads backwards.
Ah, you've returned. Wait a second. Holy shit. A bathtub turned into a bed, huh? <laughs> Looks like someone's uh, been reading up on his Diogenes. Gosh. I don't have time for this dude. Although, wait a second. What if he's like... Because, uh, wait, couldn't I kill someone down here and get away with it? If Hades can't see us. like the way. Whoa. Moving statues are dangerous. Actually, wait! If there's moving statues down here, can't Hades see that I'm down here? That's dangerous. Hey, what's the decent energy? How you doing? Actually, no, wait. They might not be dangerous. Maybe? They aren't flayed. Oh, no. That one's bad. That one's bad. It's, it's mobile. Yeah, those are moving. That's very bad for me. Holy shit, they've been doing this for a while. Look at this place. Oh, Egyptian board game. Yo. Oh my god. If I fall, I'm in deep shit. stationary statues down here. I don't hear any moving ones. I don't see any moving ones. Oh, that's him. Alright, let's go. The Undercity, dude. Yo. Buddy. Here, I'll talk to you from behind, so I definitely scare the shit out of you. Stop. Do not come any closer. Who are you? I'm Fino. I am Kabash. Hmm. And let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors. Hmm? Sort of? Do I look Greek or Roman to you? Hmm. 
Trousers, boots, curious here. No, I suppose you do not. Then what do you want? Egyptian plaque. Hmm, to what end? On a return to the obelisk. Hmm, that is welcome news. Oh, he's cool with it, you all right. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I was planning to return it myself, but for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the Holy honor shit. of Osiris. He's taking this awfully well, thank you. Thanks. Now, as for the other plaque. The fourth plaque, you know about it. Indeed, I have it right here. Oh. I stumbled across a collection of Holy dusty shit. curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit. And there it was. May I have it? You may not. In fact, I am about to destroy it. Why? Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. How so? I will tell you. But first, do you know what this place is? It appears to be an Egyptian underworld. It has a name, and that is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together uh, its story. Okay. And here is what it's I have layers. Heard. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the oh, name Osiris, layers like an ogre? the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with... I knew it! It's fucking Osiris! Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place using it as the foundation for their own underworld so that ours was forgotten. Hmm, <laughs> my only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto, and the cycle began anew. Okay, so what's the problem with this plaque? It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient Almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too. Well, copied and corrupted from I an mean, ancient people who prospered even before us. And that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did I to listen. us. Listen. But this. Uh, the I Egyptians were, in fact, ancient, but. Uh, I sense a deception. They weren't exactly the saints of their own it time. it is the work of Set, the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. What does the inscription say? You will never know. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed. No! Thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris' name. I need that. You are too late. It is done. You fucking prick. I wish you hadn't done that. It could not have gone any other way. It was Osiris's will. Now, the thing of evil you sought is gone. Why are you still here? What's your store? What do you think's down there? I do not know. What could possibly lie beneath the underworld? Yo, we're gonna go into the Sumerian Perhaps underworld now, or whatever. Darkness. Whatever's, at, whatever's down there. It is the lair of Amit. The devourer of souls. All I know is, it would be unwise to venture down there. And yet, perhaps. Most unwise. What's your story? I am from Rakotis, which you may know oh, as Alexandria. Alexandria, the name of the city the Greeks built over it. I was a fisherman, like my father. I wonder what happens if you just come in and like instantly had taken shoot him. over from the Greeks. I took the opportunity to learn Latin and eventually traveled to Rome. When the fires broke out last year, I tried to help. I gathered terrified locals into my boat and led many of them to safety farther along the Tiber. On my seventh trip, a passenger demanded I wait for his brother. But we were full to almost sinking and smoke was all around us. I told him his brother would have to save himself 
and he Holy tried to bribe shit. me by placing a coin into my hand. When I refused, he drew a dagger and thrust it between my ribs. I awoke on the banks of the river to a stranger wearing a ram headdress. He said his name was Kirti, and at the time, I simply thought him odd. It did not dawn on me until much later that he was the Kirti, the ram-headed ferryman described in the Book of the Dead. Get away out of here. This is where I belong, as caretaker okay, so of, this the isn't the sister. of my people. Or maybe it is. If our ways are to Probably be not. remembered, it falls to me. All right, well. Good. Be gone from this place. Wait. You no, are to I'm go not going to go there. down there. I see it in your eyes. No. We'll see. I urge you, return to the surface with the Romans. It will be safer for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Bye! Nurgle? Oh shit! It is Christmas 3. Oh fuck me. Uh, hopefully no one's gone and uh, peeled the uh, peeled the gold statues down here. Although I feel like they may have. Nope, can't go into that one. Yo, they built some battle works down here, or battlements. Sumerians are trying to defend themselves from something. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> they they, they pointed. Oh, is that damned up? Oh boy, well, I'm about to go to the other side of whatever they were uh, defending themselves from. Oh, I can read this. This isn't the golden bow. No, that's... Oh, this is the golden bow. Yeah. I can tell because it glows. Well, I don't like these guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to walk into an ambush. Let me hit that switch. That switch uh, doesn't do anything good. Nope, it's not even anything fun up here. All right. Just gotta keep an eye out for any. Uh... <laughs> Holy shit! This guy, this guy got it from something. <laughs>
Yo, I don't like this. I'm walking past barricades to something that I don't want to see. Oh, God. Okay, that pressure plate will absolutely kill me. With something. Oh, fuck, what is that? Just bring that whole ceiling on me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid it for the time being. Yo, this place is freaking me out, dude. There is like I could feel it. When I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. Come on, why does that end in violence? I disagree. I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege, but you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Just hear me out. Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me. Oh, Why shit. I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? Oh, fuck. All right. Um, if something can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth. That's an insult to his gods. There's no shame on building on the works of people who came before you. Uh, that's awfully modern. Definitely an insult to his god. So let's go with option number three. Just trying to replace all the plaques taken from the desecrated obelisk. Why? To what end? I'm hoping it'll earn me an audience with the god of the underworld. But why? What business could you have with Osiris? I'm gonna confront him about the golden rule. Blasphemous fool! You have no! killed your own fate. Wait, if you attack me, you'll break the golden rule. Ha, good. I welcome it. You see, the philosopher told me that each time it breaks, Osiris bellows with rage, and his voice shakes the very foundations of the earth. I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Well, uh, I wasn't going to get out of that one. Holy shit, that's a bad place. Alright, let's continue from our last save. Let's try this again. When I told you that, you I all right. Uh, Why? Replace the plaques, audience. What? Ooh, okay. So he says he can sense my lies. So either we could test that, or we could say I'm going to demand that he let everyone go. Blasphemous fool! No! The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Shit, dude. Is this the one? Hey, what's up, Wake? How you doing? Golden rule, uh, no violence, no stealing. Or else, uh, gold statues attack us and turn us into more gold statues. When I... that... I... Alright, let's try this out. Why? But... I'm gonna pay my respects. Doubtful. What do you know about honoring the Lord of Silence? Nothing really, but does anyone really know much about him? Hmm. 
You speak the truth. Oh, holy shit, saved it. We have all been deceived. Many of my ancestors endured great hardship to live good lives so that we may descend to the Duat in death and be judged accordingly. We prepare to have our hearts weighed on Anubis's scales and to swear ourselves innocent of sin before the 42 assessors of Ma'at. And yet, I arrive here to find the Book of the Dead contained only a seed of truth. And now, I ask myself, did our priests steal and embellish the stories of an older people and feed us lies all our lives simply to trick us into obedience? Isn't being a good person a worthwhile pursuit in and of itself? I am not sure I follow. Speak plainly. Even if your beliefs about the afterlife weren't quite accurate, isn't the important thing they motivated you to live good lives? Hmm. Perhaps there is... Holy shit! Truth Where's this going? It. What is your point? Are you going to abandon a lifetime of good character now that it matters most just because you found out you were misled? Hmm. You are persuasive. Very well. I will let you live, and don't, you may do okay. what you will with that plaque. I will remain here for a while, and attempt to learn what I can about the foundations of my people's beliefs. Go. Oh, thank you. Let me make a save. Let me also do this. Woo. Dude, I, for a second I thought that thing was going to curve and hit me. Holy shit. Wait a second, is the water level rising every time I do that? Yeah, sweet. I guess I'm getting the fuck out of here then. Oh, shit. I don't like that sound. Shh. Don't tell him. Don't tell the ghoul I'm here. Yeah, that's that in the water. I just find the idea of me running around with this gun out the funniest goddamn thing. You carry the gift of Prometheus in your hand. Remarkable. Alright, so let's get out of here. And let's uh, get whatever is in the Temple of Apollo. So I believe we've had the key for that for some time. I wonder if it actually tracked the passage of time up here. Actually, that may have been the locked one. Don't you just love springtime? Galerius! Wait, where'd you go? Galerius? Oh, Galerius! Galerius! 
Salve again, friend. Uh, your sis, sis, you tans. Oh, anyway, so I'll tell you. Oh, now, oh, all right, here, let's get his backstory Salve again. again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? the idea around but uh, because and if you all right friend okay got the key. Oh, no, maybe I stole the key. Well, hold on a second. He just trust- why, why did I have two of them? Did I already open this before? <laughs> hold on a second. What the fuck's the shrine of Apollo? You look well, my Sartorian. I'll send you about Centella's note. Ah! Okay, so Shrine of Apollo is the hospital. May Apollo keep you safe. Okay, Willow Bark is the... Treatment for rheumatism? Where the fuck do I find willow bark? Hmm, a golden bow. Just like feeling alright? How to treat rheumatism? You made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nevia? Oh, I yeah, see. I didn't. Uh, I found well, another way. What's the treatment? You don't want to talk to Navia, by the way. Willow bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. Willows normally grow near water. That's, That's a great idea. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Okay. It is getting late, though, so I have to worry about shit hitting the fan. So we could find Rufius. Rufius is in the tavern, so let's go talk to him right now. Before I leave, I'm going to hit this up so I can run upstairs. Or sorry, so I can have enough money next time. How much money do I even have? I have 5,000 in REI, so I, I have about... I have enough money to free them in two cycles. Or free... Yeah, free the two of them two cycles back to back. I probably shouldn't have done this. Well... Ah! <laughs> hey, Rufius, my man! Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Yo. Uh, rheumatism. What business is that of yours? Forget our treatment. Willow bark. And this will work? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after all. Thank you. I've been... in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism... These cursed statues always watching in the 
crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. <sighs> this is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. What are you gonna vote for? Meliolus. I'm not sure I trust Sentius. Maybe we could use this like as a favor to get him to vote for Galerius next time. Sin. But in for this How's run, I'll see if I can get to the bottom us? of whoever is doing the harassing. No. Uh, who do you want me to vote for? Let's talk about something else. Fine. Okay, so we could use that as a favor. No idea what you're talking about. Come on, I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. <sighs> Look, I. Oh, okay, so we can talk to him to get this resolved. Lately. I know that. It's the rheumatism. It starts with constant pain. Oh, hell yeah, okay. Joints. Then the pain starts. So then we could use our favor to get him to vote for Galerius. Makes you angry. Mean. I know that's not an excuse for how I act. Okay, okay. So we give him the cure. The cure makes him act like it's not an asshole. Truth. And maybe we can have Galerius deliver it to him on the start but of the next cycle. With the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. And I know I said I owe you one. So, I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. Oh, it's Virgil, not Georgius. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just forget this ever happened, will you? All right, no problem. The 49 Bellides fetch again. All right, so let's go talk to Virgil while we can, and then we can try and have a conversation with, uh, with Sentience's daughter. May Apollo keep you safe. Virgil! Salve! Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to... I hear we have... Oh yeah, uh, don't worry about the threats, it's just Rufius, he's never uh, gonna hurt you. What demon or spirit told you about that? I found an incomplete note in his house. You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about it? Yeah. Really? How did you manage that? Yeah, it was just his rheumatism. Ah, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. All right. Nice to talk to you. Greetings and salutations. This is awesome, actually. Bypass him entirely? Alright. Sentius, where's your daughter at? Gotta talk to her. Citizen. Where the fuck? Where'd she go? She's just wandering around I somewhere. You're allowed a weapon and I'm not. So she's out there somewhere. Those two. Citizen. That's Rufius. Here, let's do this. Is 
Get some extra money. Oh, I can't get it multiple times. Interesting. That one, I, oh, okay, so the treasure I can't. But the stuff in people's houses I can? Oh, you think I already did it this cycle? Oh, it could be. Okay, now that's Olivia's hovel. There we go, this is the way. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. Ixian turns. Who the fuck is this guy's daughter? Where do these people vanish? Oh, I see someone walking down there. That could be her. It's a small world. I'm just figuring how they give me the slip. Okay, now that's Ulpius. Never mind. I don't think that's actually, like, a passable place. Oh. Alright, I have golden goose eggs now. I forget what those are for, but, uh, you know. Also, big jackpots elsewhere. So it's not a strictly one and done, but like some of the bigger jackpots require me to steal. But like when the world is in its uh, ending phase, anyway, it doesn't really matter. The forty-nine melodies fetch again with incessant. Right here, let me check the estate one more time. If that doesn't All work. Weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. Magistrate's orders. Citizen. Who the fuck is this lazy bum? Oh, maybe she went to the secret area where her sister is? That's a possibility. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? No way out of here. Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Did you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our Do evening meal note? together the and quest log says I, can I show remember her she note. seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. All right. She was seeing someone. I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually. And even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Okay. I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared, and he hasn't I'm come I'm trying forward. to get the option just to show her the stuff. All stop. I know is... So you'll help... I'll do it. Oh, thank you. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. I found a letter in a room which mentioned her plan what? to escape. There really? we go. I swear, I searched her room top to bottom and never saw that. 
I wonder how I could have missed it. Strange, but well done, I suppose. But it's odd. It was only a few months ago that Santilla's friend Yulia let slip she was planning an escape of her own. And yet, Yulia's still here. You should go and speak with her. Find out if she knows anything. She lives in the villa next door. Ah. Well, I don't think Yulia's living there right now. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? I can check anyway. I don't think she's upstairs. Oh, that's Dickhead McGee. We already blew our shot this uh, this playthrough, or sorry, this time around with uh, his wife. We're gonna have to sit tight on that one. Best way is to find That's Yulia. Quite an impressive bow you have there. I have no idea where Yulia is though. Like I saw her walking around earlier. There's not really a clear indication of where she is at present. Ah. She's up on the cliff? Alright. I forgot I could use the quest markers. That is a very handy. There you are, Yulia. Salve. Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right? You know anything about Sentinel's disappearance? No. I did hear from Olpius that she disappeared. It's very sad. She was such a lovely young woman. But I'd been locked in Maliolus's villa for months before she went missing, so I can't help you, I'm afraid. Fair enough. All right. All right. Goodbye. Shit, is that a dead end? Okay, I need to search the cisterns. We need Dooley's key to, so, okay, so we need to uh, ha help Galerius win the election pretty much no matter what. Excuse me, Quichia. Ave again. Did you find what you... Uh... Oh my, let's see. We don't... Herc... Herc... Sisyphus and Orpheus both... Okay, I'm sorry. So... We went through this text really early on. May Fortuna guide... Did that count? Maybe this quest is bugged. Oh. It's very curious. Certainly. It's a reasonable quest. And all... Shh. As I... I'll admit, you do seem different to anyone I've ever met. And even that lamp of yours looks like something Prometheus might have stolen Dude, from imagine the seeing a... So, I'm just picturing Prometheus stealing a gun from I'll the gods. I'll you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. But first, you'd need an audience with you know who. Gave humanity the gift of the that, Second Amendment. You'll need to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here, 
and there doesn't even seem to be a keyhole. Story of America? <laughs> the answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody, or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our divine keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I imagine he might be willing to receive an audience again. Prometheus gave humanity the gift of semi-autos, hell yeah. However, that... As I'm the proper... It's... It is. If the stories are true, I imagine she's as desperate to escape as we are. If she really did... Oh, help we're helping Persephone escape. Perhaps in a sense. she'll help us, too. Going through this plan, the interesting. The problem is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? Leaving that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I don't suppose you've come across one of those in your travels? Truly? And you're only bringing... Then again, can you tell me more? Fascinating. If she has indeed been abducted, it would make... Tell me. Weighed against the current, her tears run through the city. That is strange. Okay, there we go. Hey, what's a mystic? There are no rivers here. Hmm. Let me think on that. Well, as far as I can tell, water Okay, flows so the aqueduct is the secret to escaping. Into one of and it's also the secret systems. to finding out what happened the to the uh, sister. If that's the current she's talking about. So all then roads, both to confronting to confronting Hades I and to escaping, require us to... Uh, have Galerius win the election. The the because Centralis is so unpopular tight, that he effectively might cannot. Be able to get a key from the magistrate. But if that oh, doesn't fixing work, your PC, that's rough. Perhaps you can find another way Always in. a pain in the ass, isn't it? Let me know if you find anything in there. May Fortuna guide you. Although you may... Wait a second. We could speak to Sentius about... Oh. Wait a second. Maybe we could free our good friend. Citizen, we're finally alone. We, I might, is that? See, I think it's best if I hang on to it. Why? You mean to ask, why am I unwilling to trust a newly arrived non-citizen with access to our water supply? I mean, you seem to trust me with our fate of, city. of escaping I'm sorry, this time loop. That is simply out of the question. I think you're hiding something. Yes, our water supply from you. Dude, yeah, I this guy is full of yesterday. shit. He's definitely hiding something. Poisoning a city's water supply is the oldest trick in the Codex. Quite literally, Aeneas the Tactician wrote a siegecraft manual for military commanders. It's funny because we need him because he's the one maintaining the time loop. The poisoning or pollution of cisterns. But he's also and full of shit. I'm beginning to wonder if the culprit we're looking for might, after all this, be you. Perhaps it was a mistake on my part to place so much trust in you. Fine, I'll let it go. I'm glad to hear that. Now, uh, was there something else? No, I better get Thank back you. to it. I'll be waiting here for news. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Yeah, I know about your creature. Don't worry about me. Whoa, it's your funeral. All right. I don't know if I've been in here. This might be the lower cistern. <laughs> Hold on. Let me I didn't have enough courage.
Keeping a bow extended like this is not a great idea. Crushed to death while entering the cistern from... Okay... Say, why are you giving me so many arrows? turn that moss green or sorry that moss gold normally oh I can sweet 700 denarii pretty good okay so I can turn the moss gold that's good Interesting, so I don't actually need to win the election. At least not yet. Oh. Okay, small problem. How the fuck do I make this transfer? That's a little, uh... You know, I mean, I, I can jump, but I'm not confident I can make this jump. Just give it a shot. Check my surroundings. Okay, so the, there's a door up there to something. Okay, that's a door to something else. Hey, Lenny, thank you very much for the 32 months. How you doing, good sir? All right, let's go. Yo. You. Who are you? Did he send you? Sentinel, I take it. Do you know you're here? You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. What's going I'm on Centella. here? I found a way out through the Gate of Horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He wants to keep us all here forever. Or until we're oh, to Oh, he wants the power. You have to let me go oh. so we can kill him and take his key. Who did this to you? Sentius. My adoptive father. Furies help me. I'll castrate and crucify him. How isn't this broken the golden rule? I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. What? Behind me, there's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside. Did I just city. hear something step in the water? Outside. Hey, can the I turn around real quick? It's barred by a heavy locked gate, and he has the only key. Alright, what are we doing I'm going to take that key from around his neck, even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me, and we can escape together. What about the there others? won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say?
What if I round everyone up so they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? There's no time. Wait. Oh Did shit. Oh shit. He's here. Quick. You have to let me go. It's now or never. Oh, you go. Let's oh, get out of here. Thank you. Now follow. Wait. Did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. Hey, friend. You've been a bad boy. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? You're even garbage, you know that? So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to, you'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself. Just like that soft-hearted pleb, Al. What the fuck?! You remember Al? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered what? everything. What?! See, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one door to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught Wow, Hell is really bad at playing this game. So quickly. I'd have preferred if you'd given me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success. How many extra days did you give me? Just the two? Not many. But don't worry, I'm sure there'll be another useful idiot who comes along after you're dead. In any case, there's no escape for you except the path that Al took. The path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Better to end it all now than find out what awaits you beyond that portal. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Uh, let's see. You knew there was a way out and even locked up your own daughter to keep it a secret. Why? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because wow. I'm going to attach all to right. all this. My title. He wanted my his status and his lifestyle. That's why he did it. On my face. The music no, okay, that's not a glitch. That's part of the plan. She's gonna smash him in the head with something. Keeps or stab him. Repeating itself. I get to enjoy it all. Over and over again. For eternity. Don't you see? I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely. To cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal Living the as the same gods. day over and over where you lose Can the election? That seems pretty boring you would to me. Can you not wish the same for yourself? So you asked me to figure out who was going to break the golden rule, knowing I'd fail every time. Of course. There's no way you could have succeeded. Every soul who has ever found themselves here has broken the golden rule eventually. It is inevitable. Man will always sin sooner or later. Any idiot could tell you this. But where others might see tragedy, I saw opportunity. As I told you the first time we met, I found a way to cheat death. By reliving the same day over and over again forever. And I will continue living long after your dust. Let's see you cheat your way out of this. Do you really think you can take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bow? Actually, I was thinking about using this! Is that supposed to be intimidating? I have no idea what that little thing is. What are you going to do? Throw it at me? It's called a gun. It's like a miniature ballista. 
and it'll punch right through your armor. Nonsense. Not even the <laughs> gods possess <laughs> This is for Al. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it... It's so bright. Oh shit! Oh, this screws us. He needs to be alive for it to work. Wait, what? Uh, hi there. Give me a bit of a no! Break. I thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Well. Here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch no, no, you. No, 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 no. I'm Fina. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, try. My Latin is kind of rusty. No, but the last fine. entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient. Oh, well, law. no, that was me. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, the only person to survive was Centilla, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Ah, uh, that was me. Uh, what? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago? I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, listen, uh, when I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Uh, I'm sorry, come again? Yeah, listen, uh... Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? Yeah, about I've this. spent though. a lifetime in this place going... Yeah, the guy said you were very bad at playing the game. This is... Not my words. Uh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. I, uh, I'm not following... Help Centilla kill the man who opened the time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. Yeah, I again. guess you saved my life then, as well as helping that poor woman to escape. That's a lot to take in. Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Centilla used, if we can find it. All right, let's go. Oh, that ate up all my bullets. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. Oh, yes? I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Good idea. You go on ahead, and I'll be there soon. Well, I mean, this is un this is unending. Jesus, I'm actually kind of shocked. I thought we'd get stuck in the situation because if you shoot Centilus immediately without knowing about the exit, you're back. But you're alone. What happens Does is that, that, that didn't find out? um, you get because he was trapped down in the cistern, but in the present, right before the time portal gets appeared. And so what'll happen is that he's trapped in there, and uh, you appear with him, but you're both trapped down there, so you're just dead. Ah, oh, what a relief! Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both. I mean, there's a couple. Here. I found one Why so don't far. You this tell is me another. What you discovered? While we wait. I discovered your real name is Karen. Or was it Curdy? Ah, I see. Oh, all right. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Or you really? You can just, just call me Carol, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. That you died, of course. 
You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the Chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. Oh, they die. Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly, do you really want to know? Yeah. As you wish. You were murdered. Okay. You were on a mission to recover a collection of stolen relics, including two silver coins of ancient origin from a powerful criminal. Okay. You succeeded, but as you escaped into the street, you were followed by two of his men. A passing motorist saw you being pursued and offered to you a ride. But the men in pursuit destroyed the vehicle with you in it. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene. And you followed- That guy is an Al, is he? That man's no! name oh, was fuck. Al Worth. You were each in possession of a sacred coin. Called Karen's Opal by Sun. Oh, okay, so it's and like so people it with the coins over their eyelids when they died. Like they'd have uh, the currency to cross the river Styx. Perhaps it's like that sort of you thing. have heard the tales of the Greek yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess mouth with a coin in, in their mouths to pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth, but not any coin would do. A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. That is a question you would have to ask him, if that were still possible, in light of the path you have chosen. I am just his servant, doing his bidding. Only now, I find myself bereft of purpose. You see, the coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After five thousand years... Wow, the underworld is only equipped for a thousand souls? On its course. Alright. Can you take us back to the land of the living? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you! You were gone so it long could I also thought be I'd never see you again! This thousand was only like the most there. recent set. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event two thousand years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of, well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centilla? How could you... what? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Here, oh, okay. take a look. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this, but I want you to know that I will never forget you, or what you did for me. It pains me that so many dear friends were not so fortunate. Olpius, Sentia, Lucretia, Horatius, Galerius, poor Dooley, and the others. But please understand, their blood is on my hands, not yours. I will live with the consequences of my actions, and all I can do is move forward, trying to show others the same compassion you showed me. I promise you that saving my life will not be for nothing, Centilla. Wow. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization. Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Yeah, let's go.
Okay, so we got ending two this time. All right. Oh, man. All right, so that's two out of the four endings. Three, I would assume, is if we escape by ourselves, maybe. Or if we just get the key. Ending one is if we just shoot Sendless in the face immediately, in which case we get trapped in the cistern with Al for all of eternity. Because we spawn back without knowing an exit. No, I don't think Langston until I kill him does anything. Because the other one is to get the key from, um, what's his face? Is getting the key from the guy in prison. Uh, well, sorry lady. I'll save you in a different timeline. So what we do is we get the fuck out of here now. <gasps> Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't know how it stood up again. Okay, so what we do now is we start the time loop. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? I wonder if these gold, this golden rule quest actually matters. I feel like it doesn't, because it's all a red herring. That's quite an impressive bow you have there. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to go in, I'm going to pop uh, Maliolus in the face, take his money, and then uh, reset the loop, and then we'll use his money. Or I guess no, I shouldn't start with Maliolus. What I'll do is I'll take the money first. Then, as I'm leaving, I'll pop him in the face. Excuse me, miss. All right, I'll be right back before we do that, though. All right, chat, if I plan if I plan this right, we should have our final two timelines lined up for us.
All right, chat, I'm back. So yeah, are we actually able to meet Osiris? I believe so, because to do so, we need four plaques. To put on the obelisk, which I think opens up the temple. And for that, we have the Egyptian plaque, the Sumerian plaque, the Roman plaque. All we need is the Greek plaque. But the Greek plaque is in the, the prison cell, which we can't have access to. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. So we need to essentially do the election arc. I kill everyone if uh, one person commits a crime. It's because Hades is a sick fuck. Well, I guess we'll find out. We gotta confront him. All right, let's go. Excuse me, sir. I'm Fino, and I gotta take. Oh, Listen, I need your help. Serious. All right, so Yulia's dying. Lucretia can't help. Can't help her without this uh, sylphium. Take some of it. Oh no. All right, I can do that. Okay, uh, next up, I need you to stop Fabia from entering the empty shrine and tell the new arrival he'll find what he's looking for All right, in there. let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Okay, Rufius has been threatening Virgil, but if you give him some of his willow, this willow bark, it'll treat his rheumatism and he'll settle down. Poor Virgil. Poor Rufius, too, I guess. All right, <laughs> got it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Yul Opius is about to throw himself off the Great Temple balcony. Tell Yulia, tell him Yulia will be fine and give him this purse of 2,000 denarii to pay off their debts. But how did you... All right, of course. <laughs> I'll make sure this gets to him. All right, go. I'll go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. You know what? I, I have nothing better to do because I just gave him all my side quest perks. Let's just follow him. See how he handles this. The 49 melodies fetch again. <laughs> Dude, this guy's awesome. He's a fucking wonder boy. <laughs> Speedrunning his election campaign? I mean, honestly, if he's the one doing all the favors to everyone. There's a troublemaker coming into the city. I know, and I'll take care of him. Just go and hide, but not in the empty shrine. Wait, how did you know I was headed in there? No time to explain. Go! Dude, right. he's... I'll be in my bakery. This guy is fucking awesome. You, he's Kenobi. doing as good of a job as I am. Don't shoot. I'm no threat. You'll find what you're looking for in the avenue. Second building on your left. I've got to run. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. Whatever's in that great temple up there. The this guy's awesome. Lucretia, no time to explain. I'm supposed to give you the Sylphium resin for Yulia. What? Quick, give it here. I'm just going to help her swallow this. I think she's going to be all right. Galerius, you're amazing. <laughs> I like how Galerius at no what point is like, mean? hey, uh, is there a reason why you're following me? You told yourself. me. I don't understand. How did... Never mind. Thank you so much for acting as quickly as you do. Another moment you will be Places to be. Oh. Yeah, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh. Salve, Rufius. I hear your rheumatism has you so riled up you've been harassing Virgil. What? 
My condition is nobody's business but mine. There's no need for that. I just wanted to give you this willow bark to help you treat it. A treatment? Really? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief after all this time. Thank you, Galerius. You're a good man. And I'll be sure to leave Virgil alone. I know I haven't been at my best lately. Appreciate that. Now, I've got to run. All right, Galerius. One more step. Go, go, go! Hopefully the order I gave these to him in doesn't actually matter. Good what? news, Alpius. Here's enough money to pay off your and Yulia's debts to Maliolus. Huh. What? Are you messing with me? I wouldn't do that. Here. Take it. We're... We're going to be free. Galerius, thank you. It seems fortune smiles on us after all. I, uh... I'd better go and sort this out immediately. You know what? I want to see what he has to say to Maliolus. Okay, now Galerius is busy. I'm so glad you didn't go through with it. Mm. It I'm wasn't for lack of trying. Just like up now Maliolus is going to. Wait. Why do you look so happy? We're free. Maliolus just released us, and we never have to set foot in that villa again. Hey, what's what? up, Gek? How? Galerius arranged it somehow. Really? That's incredible. Oh, what if having him do all the favors costs relief. you, or side quests costs you I favors? I mean, if the say. favor is helping Galerius out, to say I anything. think they, they'll account just for that. We'll see, up. we'll see. Get your strength back. And we'll celebrate properly when you're ready. I will. Thank you, Alpius. I will. Hmm. A golden bow, just like Apollo and Diana. Where's he going now? Salve again, friend. I went and did. How is it possible? Uh, you're specific. Sisyph, he was a tantal. Oh. The end. Oh, now. Oh. Uh. All right. Galerius, I need you to run for office. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. But from what I hear. Uh. Yeah, uh, Maliolus is going to break the golden rule. You don't believe a word well, they if tell you. can you. do that. All right. All right, friend. All right, let's go. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? Okay, Dickhead is practicing his speech. Now let's see if we can intimidate him. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without. I want you to withdraw from the. So you're Quinctius. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgius. Yeah, okay, so we've been through this dialogue. I... That. I... Okay, so now we go talk to his wife. <laughs> Can we talk? Talk. I'd like to look mm. getting back at Maliolus. Annie. Hmm. You know, some now I, I, but. Yeah, we women have to stick together. I couldn't agree more. One. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what happens if, uh, they say, if I'm a man. It seems. Because I think you can pick your character's uh, gender. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. Okay. I want you to bring me some Oh, wine. you're in Just luck? Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? 
Why do you want it? Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is mom, he true. freedom for men. Hey, World After Refrain, thank you for the for four him, months. Counseling him through his entire Much election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll but he show just wants him to take out volunteer. <laughs> I can Tonight, fix her. At his victory party. Oh, I can't fix her, okay. I'm going to get good and merry. And if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. All right, why can't you get it yourself? You mean, aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room and Domitius is right outside the villa because there's barely any left in the city. In fact, there's only one small urn, as far as I'm aware. And getting it won't be easy. All right. So you'll help me. Yeah, I have some wine right here. Thank you. Here's the letter. The lady, you just fucked up big time. Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. Well, according to this bounty letter from Emperor Nero, he's the person who started the fires in Rome last year. What? He's... Oh, no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. <laughs> I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. No, I think I'll hang on to it. Sure, you can have it. Nobody else will ever know. She's talking about the bounty letter, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Now, I appreciate your uh, discretion in this matter. I think it's best if you go now. We'll speak no more of this. Yeah. I'm glad we resolved this. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I think I had more than one copy of this bounty letter. Yep, I have a second one right here. And there's a third one on the bounty hunter's corpse. I'm glad I took them in the previous runs. You again. What is it now? I want you to withdraw from the election. <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa, uninvited, and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Because people will find out Nero's after your head. Also, Nero wants you dead. I... Uh, so... It finally caught up with me. I suppose that makes you... What? One of Nero's assassins? The Emperor sends his regards? Uh... Are you going to <laughs> Oh! So we don't even have to give the money! We can just go straight to uh, Maliolus. Or Quinctius and just threaten him into releasing everyone. Oh... So much work and money. Ugh. Oh, well, if I do it, you'd let me live? I will. Yeah, my word. Fine. Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath me anyway. I'll have Domitius notify the priestess of my withdrawal and release those two from debt bondage. There, you got what you wanted. Now, please, leave my villa and never speak to me again. No problem. <laughs> now where's my good friend? Hmm, Citizen. A golden bow, just like Apollo and Diana's. 
Kill him anyways? Nah, that'll create problems. Just gotta find Galerius now. Where the fuck is he? Good old Galerius is a hard man to find. Put a bell on him, yeah. Maybe he's visiting his friend in prison. I'm on the clock, so I gotta talk to him right away. No, he's not. What is this guy? I feel like I'm running this guy's election campaign against his will. Welcome. Oh, How'd you do? Wait a second. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. That is all. Wait a second. I'm kind of curious about something. Let me make another save. I want to see what happens in a timeline where Sentius wins Ooh, by default. Just like but in the meantime, I'm going to try and find Galerius. Who the fuck is this guy? Like, I thought the quest marker would lead me to him, but I don't see it pointing anywhere. I hope you're coping. Nah, just see. Oh, he could be down at the farm. I should check there. Whee! Hey, Saki Yoka, thank you very much for the 23 months. Yep, Roma. Roma, good sieve. My boy. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? You're running. He did? Oh, that was unexpected. A little bit of blackmail. What could have possessed him to do that? Well, I guess it's time for me to step up then. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. All right. All right, friend. Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. Let's go. Go, 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 Galerius. No? Oh, okay. I mean, I just gotta convince people to vote for him, I guess. He he'll communicate telepathically. He'll gesture with hand signals. I think he'll win. I mean, no one likes uh, Centilus, so maybe. Yo. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. You gonna vote for Galerius? Sorted okay, out Galerius. Magnetism. For the first time in a long time, I'm not in constant pain. Good man. Fine. See you around. Yeah, that's one down. How about ah, you? A fellow traveler from a faraway land. Greetings. I'm Joe. My. 
You know what for? Galerius, did you know he saved the life of my young friend Fabia? The man is. Oh, okay. But of course. Holy shit! Oh, by do having I him do the bounty hunter thing, he automatically gets the vote. That's awesome. Ah, a new face. Salve, I hear we... Galerius, definitely. He put an end to the notes and graffiti I've been receiving. All right. Nice to talk to you. All right, that's three. All right, what about you? Salve. Hello there, friend. You never well, believe me if I told you. For it. Not for sale. Oh, well, let me know if you change your mind. All right, uh, who are you gonna vote for? Sentius, I suppose. Stability is always good for business. I'd like you to vote for Galerius. Yeah? And what's he gonna do for me? He's nothing. Would a gift change your mind? Certainly. For a few thousand denarii. Fine. Here's 3,000. Pleasure doing business. Can I help you with anything else? No, I'll be going now. Very well. Another time. 3,000. What a... What a prick. What a bastard. I don't think the guy in prison can vote. Okay, so, uh... We have to deal with... Oh no, not this. Let's see, so there's a couple of other guys around. I don't think, I think the Egyptian fellow is still in the catacomb, so he's not gonna be working with us. Where the fuck am I going? Oh. I mean, yeah, sure. I can just get that bottle of wine every time, huh? Okay, no one is in their rooms. So I'll check by the main villa. Ah! Don't believe a word. Shalom, friend. Alright, uh, who are you gonna vote for? Sentius, I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. Would you consider voting for Galerius? Galerius? The farmer? He's a good man, but... You literally I think saved your life, dude. The farm than as magistrate. Wow. Okay, Opius, you fucking prick. All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. You don't be fucked up. What if we have to let Opius die for Glarus to win the election? I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah. How did you what now? Are you gonna vote for? <laughs> I'm not going. Abstaining. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. Now, since you didn't withdraw, Maliola's withdrew. For flouting my weapons ban. I'm gonna talk to this guy's um centurion. His soldier, whatever the fuck. Oh, he's not in. He's not in. So Maliolus and his uh, mercenary, or sorry, his gladiator aren't doing anything. Ah. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? What is it, Citizen? Just Don't like believe Diamus. a word they tell you. Talk about Centella? What business is that of yours? A l you might. Fine. Not that it's any of your business. Okay. All right. So there's two people voting for Centillus for sure, and Centillus himself. So that's three. So it's this Don't guy, a word his uh, his loyal soldier, and himself. So that's at least three people. Right now we have uh, Galerius himself, we have Georgius, we have uh, Virgil, and we bought uh, we bought this prick's vote. Wonder how much one of these. I wouldn't count on it, but technically, this means that we're gonna win. I don't think this guy can win. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this guy can vote. Uh, hello. Bye bye. 
Speaking door automatically triggers the ending. Oh, we could do that, yeah. Or the voting. No, the women in, uh... Women cannot vote in this game. If my re recollection is on point. That's why you can't bring it up with any of them. I can grab some denarii so I can secure everything for next time. I could also rob uh, Maliolus's chest again if we get a bad timeline. How much do I have? 5,000? Okay, that's enough for uh, one more round of bribery. Two if I collect everything. Okay. Let's make a save, and then let's uh, talk to the priestess, see if we can get this vote going. Because I believe that's all the men accounted for. Aside from the guy in the cave, and uh, who can't vote because Hades is going to rip his head off. A new face. And the other guy Elevate in the cave who has may other Vesta problems. Watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe... Says of the election. It must be completed by dusk. It'll be between. Why do you? Can we start the election now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk, but I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Holding it early may prevent conflict between the voters. Hmm. Yes, I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Very well. All right, let's see. Right let's see if the election arc pans out. Citizens, it is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Election starting. All right, let's fucking go. I do wonder... How senseless is going to react to this? Okay, so two out of three voters here are in our pocket. One, two, three. One, two. <laughs> I right, someone decided to go out drinking. Can't say I blame him. Hey, what's a want to relax? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Has gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus. This guy's such a drama queen. Look at him. And late turn to Marini, turn to gold Gerdus right on the Galerius podium so no one can use it. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots, and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabio. Oh, NPC deaths Galerius. are not permanent. Galerius. Virgil. You can keep some items between some loops, but aside from that... To the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. What? He did vote for Galerius after all? The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Oh. Citizens. You wow, he did change his decision. mind. Even though he said that Galerius would be better off uh, working the farm. Galerius Helver. What? It has been decided. <laughs> Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, yeah. Um, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you put your trust in me, 
I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around Look here. at his face! But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell He's fucking murder in his please. eyes. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. Oh my god, I thought he was rushing to try and shiv him. All right, now I'm curious about something. We're finally alone. I assume you all... A cure? I see you have... I pray to... Now... We have? I must... Is that about... Ah, uh, look, it... Now, I assume... Nothing really. It won't be long before the golden rule is broken and everything will be reset. I dare say it won't affect me in the slightest. <laughs> okay. We're in his heart and sleeve on that one, huh? I dare say it won't affect me in the slightest. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths, then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Uh... Oh. Hello? Oh. I'm Dooley. That's me. Oh. It is you. Thank you. You can have my shiny plaque if you want. And maybe you can help me. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. And he said he always would. But then he died. But before that, he told me, if anything ever he gave me a key to the systems. Okay, so I'm not going to go and um, reset the timeline to make sure. He said there's something very precious way up high. Please help To make sure Centelius wins. Because I... Please. I had to keep it a secret until I found someone I could trust. Nah, different animal. Oh, thank you. Here's the key. Oh, 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 oh. I hope you find it. In the cisterns. Way up high, Hannibal said. Oh, look over there. Something shiny. You should have waited for him to open the door before I Is it treasure? Him up. Maybe it is treasure. I can see it for myself. It's so pretty. And it's just lying out here in the open. Maybe nobody wants Fortune it. smile on you, sister. Just... Okay, let's talk to uh, Galerius now. For the sins of the one. Dooley, you fuck. Wow, Dooley literally fucks it up immediately. What an asshole. So essentially, the guy we free just immediately steals something and breaks the golden rule. It's okay, though. We have two options now. First of all, we're going to go to... We're gonna go to the upper cistern. Yeah, we still have all the stuff. Salve, friend. Oh, sorry, I'm a little busy. Sorry, Galerius, this isn't the time for you to win the election. I can't believe Dooley immediately fucks it up. That's hilarious. Actually, now I am kind of curious as to what happens if, uh... What's-his-face, he loses the election. 
Or if Sindalus wins the election. Gotta get into the cisterns. I don't know where the key is though, or where the door is. Everybody, no rheumatism cure this time. No, whatever this door is, it's just still locked. I forget what its purpose even is. Upper cistern. Upper cistern. I don't know if this is the only way to the upper cistern. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? I didn't see any doors while I was up there. For the highest point, maybe. Okay, that's off limits. I tried marking the objective, but for whatever reason, it won't show the uh, door to me. Yeah, I did it again there. Maybe if I switch it. Yeah, it does that. It also didn't show me where Galerius was last time around. It's all right, though. Yeah, I'll just run up here. If I don't see anything, I'll just uh, do it the hard way and go through that monster again. Which is a little annoying, but hey, what can you do? The problem is this temple, I don't want to go to the front of the temple because that'll trigger the, uh, the... It'll trigger the dialogue with the suicidal guy. And I want to avoid that. Well, if I take too long, he might actually commit suicide. Quite inconvenient. Yeah, whatever. I'll just go down to the cisterns the hard way. I mean, you know what I could do? I could go the go the uh, hard way. And then what I'll do is I'll open the door and use it to find the uh to find the alternate entrance. Actually, wait a second. What's this place had a secret door? Didn't he? So, hypothetically, there should be a door somewhere here that just leads straight in. Oh, don't mind me. I just live here. Yeah, yeah, I don't got time for that right now. Oh, apparently not. Oh, another one fresh out of the baths, I take it. Cut, you're such a prick. All right, well. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? 
I am. Whoa, it's your fu- Arrows. I could get the money, but I don't need the money. Yep, that was a gun. That's my special ability. You can pick a number of specials in this game. Mine is gun. feels any better. Alright, let's make a save. Okay, that's locked. We can't escape it without the key. I'm gonna do this to see where we're supposed to unlock it from. Fuck me. Where is this? Oh, it is at the temple. It's past the guy with the Sisyphean boulder. Interesting. Let's see if I can do this conversation in a way. Sorry, before that you go, everyone else is going to die. What? No. Okay, let's go. It's too dangerous. Let me see if I can persuade Sentius to let us go. It's no use. You'll never persuade him of anything. I'm telling you, he's a monster. Please. I'm sorry, I need to try. You're making a mistake. All right, let's go. Somehow hit the ledge of all all the water there, and I hit the lip. I god damn it! All right, let's do this conversation one more time, I guess. This time I'll go the other way.
I mean, one way is to, um... Talk to Persephone. Not Persephone. There's something we could do with Persephone. Already took this. Oops. Because the first time around, we escaped with our own wits. So there's an escape with Persephone, and there's an escape with, um... Oh, sorry, did I say Persephone twice? Whatever. Proserpina, there we go. <laughs> there's there's one where we confront um, confront the god of the dead, and the other is where we use help from uh, Proserpina. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. What happens if I talk to her about this? Ugh, this place has become a. Oh, I w Oh. I know who she was seeing. It's Alpheus. Oh, really? That commoner in debt bondage next door thought he could win over a magistrate's daughter. That's awfully bold of him. I can see why she worked so hard to keep it a secret. Quick, go and find him and ask well, him. Well, um, I also he found knows. your sister. She's kind of tied up. Oh, I see. Well, it was worth a try, <laughs> I suppose. I think she's going to react to this, this. Promise me you won't give up on her. I promise. Thank you. Uh, but listen, I really need to talk oh, to you. Oh, look, you're back. Oh. Yes. Never mind. Here we go. And yes. We're finally alone. I... We have? I must have... Is that about... Ah, uh, look, now, I... I know what you did to Centella. Me? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, you cheeky fuck. <laughs> you know, you remind me of him. Who? Al. Al Worth. The fellow who came through the portal before you. What? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one room to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I Let's see if we can get... But I'm see. surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, he was a... And because I was... And when we see the next time, I mean five times... Extra... And yet everything you've done has been in vain. Because there's no escape. Except so you discover Yeah. Why? Why'd you do it? Isn't it obvious? And as long as this I have found a And why would I agree to that? Oh shit. I mean the uprising doesn't matter, because the Yeah, the uprising doesn't matter. Uh, you and your okay. I guess that wasn't gonna help morality. either. Morality. Nobody cares about your opinions, least of all me. Understand that to me, you've never been anything more than a useful idiot, and you're no longer useful. All right. You may have an uprising on your hands. You might want to think that through. If anyone so much as touches me, everyone dies. The only way you're getting this key is over my dead body. And if I die, I won't be able to open the portal for you again, meaning you'll have created a paradox. You see, it was my actions that brought you to this point in time. So if you kill me, you'll stop me from doing so. And you being here will be an impossibility. 
That means if I die, you'll be flung back to your original time, having caused the deaths of everyone here, and you'll never be able to undo it. Is that what you want? This isn't over. I certainly hope not. In fact, I want it to go on and on forever, until you wither and die like Al did, and the God sent yet another useful idiot to extend my life. I'll find a way to break the cycle and you with it. What are you going to do? Beg the gods for help? <laughs> they don't care about you, and neither do I. Now, get out of my villa. I'm bored with you. Oh, this fucking guy. On your best behavior, I trust. Come, you're allowed a weapon, and I'm not. Thank you. Thank. I'm missing one of the endings. You oh, I can tell Cynthia about her sister. Maybe here. Delighted and deeply honored. Actually, yeah. You know, let's try it. Elected. Will you remember doing the villain speech in future loops? I believe he will. I mean, I guess we can find out. Citizen. Ugh, this place has become... Oh, look, you're back. Oh. Yeah, your father's keeping her tied up in the upper cistern. What? Is this some kind of crude commoner joke? I can prove it. No, surely not. Father, is this true? I'm afraid it is. I don't understand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Because she found a way out. And if you're wondering why I'm telling you this, <laughs> holy it's shit, I'm he doesn't give a to fuck. Remember any of it. All I have to do is commit a sin, and the day will begin again. Watch this. I'm going to kill you now. The many shall suffer no! for the sins of the one. I like how he doesn't like he just has to threaten to kill me yeah yeah you know what I guess we're gonna see a loop where he knows what I'm or he knows that I know that he's a dickhead A hint, yeah, a hint would be nice. Because I'm a bit lost as to how to get in contact with Persephone. Or Proserpina. Pretty much the same thing. Salve, friend. Oh. Yulia. Poor Virgil. Ending two, but get Galerius ready to evacuate everyone. Oh, okay. So I just have to say I'm going to come back. Interesting. All right, let me see. Stop. What? Are you... You're serious, aren't you? <laughs> I doubt that Demetrius will let me talk to him, but I'll make sure he passes on the message. Dude, Galerius is taking this awfully but well. Once I'm done... Ending two, but I get Galerius to prepare everyone. Go with him, nah. I'll meet up with him at Malleolus' will. He's gonna run through the other messages first. Yeah, this will let us do two things. First of all, we can talk to uh, Senthilus to see if he's a dickhead. Or see if he's a dickhead immediately.
Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Where is he? Yo. I thought I told you to get out of my villa. I'm bored with you. Oh, he doesn't even want he doesn't have the time of day for us. Asshole. Well, yeah, he definitely remembers. That's a part of the plot. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Well, it's your... Ah, Tom, you know what? <laughs> Shiro, that's a good idea. I had immediately resigned myself to all that platforming. You, I hope this drags you to die. Gate is not. We need to kill Sandless and then book it. You're back. There's no time. What? I. Okay, yeah. We go this way. Then we talk to Galerius once he's done with his rounds. We can have Galerius get everyone ready to bail. Isn't the great temple majestic? Uh, yes, that ought to do it. I guess I'll go and tell Opius the good news then. Yeah, go Galerius, go! Here, while you give them the good news, I'm gonna go and grab some uh, free loot. If I'm going back to the real world, I want some money. The one denarius? Come on. Or denarius. See, this is early in the Roman Empire, relatively. So yeah, Denaria should still be worth something. They haven't Wonder devalued the shit out of it yet. Julia, I'm so glad you didn't go through with it. It wasn't for lack of trying. And now Maliolus is going to. We'll All right. Wait. So we just have to wait for their dialogue to finish. Once it does, we can talk to. Oh yeah, we do have a bow that turns things into gold. You're right. What? How? Galerius arranged it somehow. 
Yeah, gold's worth a lot more in the modern world, huh? Welcome. Oh, what a relief. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Just rest up. All right. I do wonder if Karen cares at all about the golden bow and all that stuff. There he is. Clarius, I gotta talk to you. Sir? Are you under duress, sir? I, I just had a, 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 a change of heart. But you on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. Those are my orders. Carry them out. <sighs> As you wish, sir. He's still busy until this guy finishes his dialogue. Oh, well, that's surprising. But thank you for telling me. I'll let everyone know. Yeah, thankfully we don't ever need Galerius to win the election ever Citizens, again. Citizens, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by Nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected Magistrate I wonder how, by what Sentius does if he wins. Actually, I'll... I'd, uh, I'd like to nominate myself, if that's all right. Of course, Galerius, that's your right. Citizens, the election will proceed. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and... Uh, you're a sister. Oh. oh. Okay. And if you don't win, the next election will be here before you know it. Oh. Now, now I'm going to keep your secret. Oh, and if our conversations. Let's talk to him. Salve. Now. Oh, what? Well, as much as. But if anyone knows for sure. What? All right, friend. Hope you find. That's weird. So I got I talked to Galerius, but he doesn't give me an option to. Uh, it doesn't give me an option to talk to him and prep to leave. What do you say, Teaspoon? Welcome. Citizen. Wait for him to win. I mean, yeah, he will win. So maybe. We just have to convince him not to free his friend. I mean, this is the beginning of a cycle. Uh, hello? I guess not strictly speaking. If I had 500 battles for just by morning. Wait, it can only be done at the beginning of a cycle, really? Shit. Cutting off his hands, uh, that's violence, and that will immediately fail everything. But I have a pretty good way of, uh... God damn it. Come on! Motherfucker! 
fucker! I, I thought, am I not hitting him? I hit him! He turned to gold! Do you see that? Oh, there we go. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Entire sniper, not a good one. Yeah, Sentius, you are the one who has to run this time, you idiot. Run, Forest! gonna be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except Sentius ready to run to the upper cistern when the ground starts to rumble. What? That's a big ask. <laughs> something tells me you're not kidding. All right, I'm gonna stick my neck out and believe you. But I doubt I'll be able to gather more than a handful of people. Actually, I'm very curious as to what he says to everyone, so I'm gonna follow him. Man, this guy's awesome. I fucking love Galerius. Oh, you miss Livia, right? You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water and the tree just a but it the Dude, he is a Giga Chad. Holy shit. I'm curious as to who he can even talk to to make it happen. Um. Oh, maybe he's just waiting for it to start? That could be it. Don't you just love springtime? Okay, so he's waiting to do it. Okay, okay. In that case, let's go. We can make this happen. We're gonna run up to the cistern, free Centilla, and then pop, uh... Actually, we'll let her do the honors this time. I, I already... Yeah. I already used the power of gun. On one occasion. I told Galerius to lead everyone here when the Golden Rule is broken so they can escape too. How did you know? Wait, did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. Centilus? What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? if I can tell you. So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? I told you I was going to break you. Do you really think you can take on a decurium with that flimsy little bow? I probably could, but I'm going to let her have this one. Who? Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, father. Oh my god! Holy shit! The many. 
many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. The other should be right behind us. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. We did it. Um, ignore my gun, would you? Uh, hi there. Yeah. Well, really, I was just reading. It described an event. Freedom, it said, apparently, Centilla and a handful of other citizens managed to escape, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Yep. That was me. Uh, what? Uh, um. Yeah, okay, so some of this is, uh, I... the same as number two. So you're saying... Because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he may I guess... Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Santilla used. Let's go! I'm gonna pause here for Yeah, so essentially, uh, the senseless guy is the source of the, uh, the time loop, because he makes the portal that brings us here. So by killing him, we prevent him from doing that, which locks the, uh, locks the time loop. You're back! But... you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? Oh... What a so the others are able to escape Thank that were so trapped much. in with us. I was beginning to think you'd both become because trapped. Because we showed them the exit. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Just let me skip this dialogue. You can, I do not. Okay, there we go. That you, my rule. Hmm. Most ask your. As you, you were, you, a pet, there was heat that you were, yep, perhaps, well, a long time of my or Okay, so these, this, yeah, this is dialogue we ran through before. I see no point in keeping you here, but I have to ask one thing, that you keep this to yourself. Look, here comes Al now. Al, it's so good to see you. You were kind of lost track of time in there, and there was a tap. Supposedly, the city, my new friend. I know how. Cr Maybe not that. How could you? She left a tap. I think. Okay, yeah. there we go. This is the tablet. Let's see what changed. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this. But Octavia, Lucretia, Horatius, Equitia, and I will never forget you, or what you did for us. It pains us that so many of our dear friends were not so fortunate. Including Olpius and Galerius, who heroically tried to oh, rescue Oh no, Dini, Olpius and Galerius but died? Made it back. But there is no point dwelling on what might have been. All Shit. we can do is take this gift you've given us, and try to show others the same compassion you showed us. We promise you that saving our lives was not for nothing. Centilla et al. Wow, so to actually save him, we're gonna have to pick a fight Sounds with Hades. Like you meant a lot to All right, you know what? Let's do I'd it. I'd love to hear your story. Let's go on one more first, rodeo. You two look exhausted. One more rodeo. Why don't you hop in my we boat? We fucking and have a showdown with the god of death to save to our friend the Giga Shed. Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Listen, Galerius was ride or die with us the entire time. I think it's time for us to return the favor. Will the gun work on an actual god? It depends on whether we're playing by Umineko rules or others. The dog ending.
Alright, sorry, Sandela. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave you here. Alright, Galerius. This one's for my buddy. All right, here, I'll be right back. Then we can go to the final, final battle. All right, I'm back. Ah, oh, shit, he's waiting to commit suicide. Hold on. I gotta do one thing to get him off my back. I don't want him on. I don't want this guy in my conscience. Listen, if I start throwing hands with the- uh, if I attack and dethrone God, and that guy gets spooked and falls off a cliff, it's gonna ruin my perfect ending. So I'll save his ass. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? Thank you. Yo. Uh, thank you. I am delighted. Oh no. Shit, because I have him on the errand path, I can't do it. All right. Well, all weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. Magistrate's orders. Let's go. For the sins of the one. I'm gonna use the golden bow. Why would I use the golden bow when I have a gun? Sentius or Sentless. I don't have all day. I wonder if it matters that everyone else has their shit resolved. I don't think it does. then. Alright, so what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna head right over and 
Blackmail. Maliolus. We're gonna go to the, the temple. Temple majestic. You know what, chat? I'll say this. I would love if they made like an. Like, I don't know if this studio's done any more games since Forgotten City. But I would love it. I would love to see like a more. Like a more to sandbox, like an even more sandbox. Without a hefty game tribute, out of them. so you must have been desperate to see. <laughs> what? I. I. So. Oh. Fine. I'll have to meet you there. There we go. Mitius, are you listening? Yes, sir. I I've made a decision to release Yulia and Ulpius and withdraw from the election. I want you to go and inform Equitia. Sir? Are you under duress, sir? I, I just had a, a, a change of heart. But you on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. You guys make a banger Deus Ex style game? Oh hell, I would love to play that. Like you know, even if it's just an adventure game with like no combat, I think that'd be very interesting. Or I'd play it at least. Oh, it's auto-saved. Me. Salve, welcome. Oh, fine, thanks. Uh, we've all. I used to. I still. I'll be going now. All right. I can't believe this is how it ends. It doesn't end, idiot. You're free. No, 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 no. Well, P.S. What? You... That's what? Why do? You... I'm please. I'm sorry. Please help him. <laughs> all right, yeah, Maliolus, your um, Fez freed you. It's too late for that. If I back down. Yeah, Lucretia was able to get some Sylphium in time to save her life. She's uh, fine. What? Did I actually give that to her? Yeah. I just wish there was. <laughs> wait, wait a second. I don't I'll think I gave it to her this timeline. I'll go and tell Yuli of the good news. Um. Ah, whatever. Yo! Let's go. Nurgle, fierce one, grant me an audience. No? Hades, Lord of Many. I think it's nothing. <laughs> Osiris, Lord of Silence. No? Yeah, I'll get it right one of these days. Pluto. Oh, it's... Pl okay, Pluto is this... Alright, interesting. Wants me to respect the, the brand change. Sure. Oh, we could be going backwards! Oh, okay. Oh, now we're in the Egyptian port. Okay, I see. So that's the hint. Wow, this temple's really long. All right. Osiris. Really? Can't maintain your own temple? Did ya? I mean, this way. There's only one way. Okay, I was going the right way. Thanks. Nurgle. Hmm. 
No, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. I... And here you are. Allow me to introduce myself. As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. Um... But the one constant through it all has been my title. God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your life. You're unlike the others, aren't you? And what is more, you carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so reasonably. Yeah. But there will be time for your reckoning later. First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. All right, uh, what is, what's your story? My story is many thousands of years long. You will need to be more specific. Uh, are you from space? What do you wish to know? Yeah, it was the one on your left. This is my beloved. Like me, she has been oh. known by many names. Ereshkigal to the Sumerians. Ereshkigal? Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Proserpina to the Romans. Or perhaps you might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. Okay. Your gaze lingers too long. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is that on your right? That is my servant. You would have met by the river, though she wears many faces. Oh, Karen. And goes by many names. Kumutabal to the Sumerians, Kurti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one, and to make their transition as seamless as possible. For that, she earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Ferryman. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. All right, why are you looking sound like a man? My kin and I all adopted this form long ago so that we might better understand and communicate with your kind. In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords. Desire, joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow, while an acquired taste can be addictive. You're a god. It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by you mortals, not one I gave myself. Your ancestors revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful, just as you might seem so to an insect. But despite all that, there are rules even I must obey. Is your true form? No. Long ago, I swore to Persephone that I would remain in this form for as long okay. as we remained among your kind. I must honor that. So what's something else? As you wish. What is this place? It has come to be known simply as the under. <laughs> because of a wager? It exists. <laughs> the ultimate of wager, wager match. I made long ago. It was a wager. That is a long story. One that began over three years. Hey, thank you for the 33 months, Memphis. That Hades 2 game is looking kind of weird. Yeah, it went ago, in a pretty unexpected direction. Huh? Set out from our home <laughs> on a lot less action in the of life among the stars. We discovered your planet and witnessed your kind evolving from primates into something lawless and barbaric. You all but destroyed yourselves, your too short lives. Holy being shit, I can't believe by it. Violence and ignorance and disease. Yet Proserpina saw raw Alien potential. gods. And persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So we revealed ourselves to your people in a place called Sumer. We offered guidance in agriculture, tool craft, and law, and you called us gods. For a time, you flourished, but soon you were too many for us to oversee. 
And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, we saw something disturbing. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion, and soon you returned to your old ways of violence and ignorance, this time in our name. My kin had seen enough and gave up on your kind, condemning you as barbaric and chaotic, scarcely more than animals. We began preparations to return to Elysium, our home world, a utopia unspoilt by conflict and unimaginable in its beauty. But my Proserpina could not bear to abandon your kind without guidance, and knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind, she made an extraordinary sacrifice. Wow. She gave up her immortality to descend permanently to the ranks of humankind. And so she began her inescapable trajectory toward death. Horrified, I acted swiftly. I placed her in suspended animation in a deep, frozen sleep to prevent age and sickness from claiming her. And then I pleaded with Proserpina's father, who the Romans called Jupiter, to bring her with us to Elysium. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done to herself. But he refused. I did everything I could to persuade him, but he would not relent. He would rigidly uphold his final pronouncement. Humans were unworthy of ascension to Elysium. Hot no damn. exceptions would be made. But seeing that I was aggrieved, he proposed a wager, the terms of which were as follows. If even one human city could prove itself capable of living without sin for a single year, Ooh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a hell of a wager. ...would be permitted to join us in Elysium. My part would be to remain behind, the last of my kind. Oh, man. ...to watch over... Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> ...without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. And so my reward has been to languish here, enduring a 3,000-year winter, waiting for the day your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you. So that I might take her with me to Elysium and unthaw my goddess of springtime. And here I am after all this time. Yeah, oh boy, Still sin, waiting. huh? There were also gods who, like me, have been known by many names. But perhaps you knew them by their Roman names. Our leader, Jupiter, as well as Neptune, Saturn, Juno, Minerva, Mars, Venus, Apollo, Diana, Vulcan, Vesta, Ceres, and of course, my beloved Persephone. Well, the city. As the first wave of your kind arrived from Sumer, I had them build a city in their own fashion so that they might be comfortable and recreate their lives here. I had them build the entrance as a vertical shaft leading to baths to cleanse them of the sins of their former lives and to prevent escape. I watched wave after wave of Sumerians arrive, and as their civilization declined over the centuries, they were replaced by Egyptians. Of course, believing themselves to be the superior civilization, the Egyptians promptly built over what had been built before and made all the same mistakes. After another thousand years, the Greeks began to arrive and then the Romans, and they all did the same thing. They built upon the underworlds of their predecessors, renamed their gods, and ensured their foundations were forgotten. You decide who comes here. To ensure the wage was fair, it was important that my subjects were chosen. Oh, I see. So it's this city. To this end, I had. Oh man, it's this city, and they only had to rule over it for. A, from wait a second, like twenty people had to behave themselves for a year. Oh, oh god, that's terrible. Whoever died while in possession of one of them would be located by my servant and ferried to this place, with no memory of how they arrived. As the tokens were discovered, they were traded, smelted, and fashioned into trinkets, and eventually coins spreading to Egypt like seeds on the wind. Later, when they spread to Greece, they would come to be known as Charon's Obel, or as coins for the ferryman. Some placed coins in the mouths of their dead, hoping they would awaken here, though they had no way of knowing which coins were fashioned from the original tokens. In fact, 
Almost all of the tokens are accounted for. Only two remain. And so after this wave destroys itself, as it is destined to do, your kind will have squandered the last of its potential to ascend beyond this rock. And Persephone's along with it. Shit. How did they ever learn about the underworld? It is a regrettable story. One of the first men who came to this place. Wait a second. Suma and a troublemaker. To be rid of him. <laughs> Wait a second. A king of Sumer and a troublemaker, huh? Erased his memories. <laughs> of this place. But the erasure did not take completely, and he told stories of this place as if describing Amazing. memories of a dream. His tales were committed to writing. Which came to be known as the Epic of Gilgamesh. Amazing. His words were twisted and distorted over generations. Later, the Egyptians would adapt Sumer's stories of the underworld, making them wildly intricate and labyrinthine. Their Book of the Dead and Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this place in their priests' pursuit of profit. Then, when the Greeks began to arrive, they proved far more cunning. And in a series of incidents that will not be repeated, five of them escaped. Oh, the a heroes! Named Heracles, two kings named Sisyphus and Theseus, a poet named Orpheus, and a Trojan named Aeneas. They each told embellished tales of this place, how to get here, and how to escape. And so from Sumer to Egypt, Greece to Rome, your kind has always told each other stories about this place. Dude, this is each wild. Each story contained only a seed of truth. All right, let's talk about something else. Of course. Responsible for the Golden Rule? That is merely the name your people have given to it, but yes, it is my doing. I turn people into gold. That is a story dating back to the very first wave. After the Sumerians finished building their city, a self-declared ruler through a banquet to celebrate. Now this man was unmarried, and many women were uh -oh. vying to become his wife. A prestigious position of power and influence in a new world. Of all the women, two were particularly ambitious. Both were beautiful, and both arrived at the banquet wearing eye-catching dresses and painted faces, their hair woven in elaborate fashion. The first woman, recognizing that she would require an advantage to win the ruler's affection, draped herself in jewelry, ornate necklaces, bracelets, and rings fashioned from gold. Seeing this ostentatious display, the second woman grew envious, for she had no such jewelry at her disposal. She prayed aloud to any gods that would listen to cover her in gold. And when her prayer went on, oh, no. she took matters into her own hands. While the others indulged at the banquet, the second woman summoned the first for a discussion in a quiet place. She checked that nobody was watching and pushed her rival from the top of the ziggurat where she broke her neck on the rocks below. But I was watching, and I decided to answer her prayer. I took the golden bow left behind by Diana, and I shot that oh, woman in the heart, okay. covering her from head to toe in a layer of molten gold. And I left her to stand there, that she might serve as a grim reminder of what befalls those who sin in my domain. But that was not enough, for the entire city was tainted by her sin, and the wager could no longer be won. So I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. I gilded them all to make way for a new wave and began the wager again. And to this day, each of them and all who came after line the halls of this city, inanimate but conscious, suspended in time with only their sight and hearing preserved, so they may bear witness to and lament the folly of your kind for eternity. The silent golden sentinels. Where did those come from? When my kin departed, they left behind many relics which I inherited. A consolation prize of sorts. The golden bow originally belonged to one of my kin, who the Romans called Diana. As my collection of golden statues grew, 
I chose the most ferocious among them and equipped them each with a duplicate of her bow and tasked them with hunting down the forsaken. Is it to 1k? That's just the wager. Then he came to simply. Yes. His furies. That and having more people would only make it harder for him to succeed, I guess. All right, what do you consider a sin? I've always considered that the cornerstone of morality is the ability to determine right from wrong on one's own. No attempt to lay out rules like your Code of Hammurabi or your Twelve Tables of the Roman Republic can ever cover all possible scenarios. This should come as no surprise to you, since the core principle has been expressed in many forms by many of your civilizations. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make him do. The Greeks refined it with avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. The Roman Stoics added, treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Even the so-called cultists hiding among you often say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It is the simplest of concepts, and each one of you is born with the faculties required to apply it to any situation. Yet none of the peoples who expressed this rule were able to uphold it. Curious, is it not? Doesn't seem like you've been upholding it either. Enough. You clearly know nothing. <laughs> How do you know when people sin? I'm able to commune with all of the statues in the city. Their ears are my ears, and their eyes are my eyes. If she was still conscious, I suppose she could, oh. but she's not. Why do you ask? No reason. Then what an odd <laughs> I give your kind a second chance at life, as well as ample warning about my law. And when you disobey, and you always disobey, you force my hand, bringing terrible suffering upon yourselves. And so you ask if I am the one destroying your lies. And I say, no. You destroy yourselves. I am merely the means by which you do it. All right, I've seen some terrible things here that you didn't consider a sin. But you let them happen. Do you plan to speak in sweeping generalizations? Or are you going to give me an example? Suicide. I've seen no such thing. But in any case, taking one's own life is a self-directed act. It is not one that is done to others. Oh, okay, However, come on. You have to have seen someone commit suicide in the past, therefore, like 900 people, 999 people. Suicide has bullshit. done anything unto others. Okay. I mean, fair now enough. tell me, what other sins I don't think, do you yeah, believe sure. I have overlooked? Price gouging for life-saving medicine. The merchant. How is that inconsistent with the rule I have outlined? We wouldn't want someone else to demand an outrageous price for the medicine he needed if he was dying. I disagree. Having watched this merchant, that is precisely Whoa. what he would <laughs> Damn it! From this others, fucking... And he would be quite capable... Well, listen, the merchant you got is a piece of shit. You can't know what he would expect. You're just speculating. Applying this rule always requires speculation to some degree. It requires us to ask what another person would want if they found themselves in another situation. No, give him AIDS and see if he wants a cure. Wait, doesn't that make it inherently subjective and unreliable? Not if we're wise enough to know the mind of man. I don't know about that. You think you know the minds of other people? Hmm. Supposing you're right, then my law has been broken, and I should turn you all to gold immediately. Is that what you want? Shit. Ha. Uh. No, of course now not. Tell me, no, listen. What other sins do you believe I have overlooked? Listen, let's bide our time on this one. Debt bondage. You speak of the money lender. How is that inconsistent with the rule? You don't want to charge me a 30 year labor contract because of a loan? And he would never have signed a contract pledging his labor for 30 years. All he did was enforce the terms of a contract signed voluntarily by others. The whole concept of debt bonds is like slavery is unethical. It's illegal under international law where I'm from. 
ignoring your irritating sense of moral superiority. This is interesting. I'm curious, how do people escape poverty where you're from? Uh, they take out a loan to buy a house and in some places to pay for an education. I see. And how long might it take such a person to repay oh, shit. the debt? I fail to see how your system of loans is significantly different All right, you got to a debt bondsman signing over his labor for 30 years. All right, now you got me. me. What others you got me. You believe I have overlooked? Abduction. Abduction? You mean the magistrate imprisoning his daughter in the system? He did so because she sought to escape, a sin I take particularly seriously. Better that he stops her from escaping, albeit brutishly, than I have to wipe out this entire city to punish her. Wouldn't you agree? I disagree. Hmm. Supposing you're I think right, he's just gonna give this answer every time. Broken, and I should turn you all to gold immediately. Is that what you want? Ah, oh, damn it. It's no wonder people say the gods are cruel. This just shows how unreliable and subjective your moral code is. You're no better at judging right from wrong than any human. Do you honestly think you are yeah. better? No, but that's my point. But yes, no, that's my point. Nobody's grasp of right and wrong is so perfect they can be trusted with all this power. You become a tyrant. I should strike you down for that. And if you did, you'd be proving my point. Huh. Now. Did you have any other questions before your reckoning? Let's talk about something else. Very well. All right, that's all the questions I Good. had. And now it is time for your reckoning. Only, it seems, something is wrong. It has long been within my power to see into the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But when I peer into you, I see only a blank slate, as if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. How is this possible? Carol, where did you find this one? I do not remember ferrying you. How did you come here? I'm from the future. If that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Who brought you here? You kind of know. I came here on my own! Impossible! I am a god amongst the men and I have this boomstick! You have a better explanation? Huh. Not yet, but I will learn the truth. Enough of this. It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. The answer is, why have you come here? What is it you seek? <laughs> I'm here to kill you. Draw golden bow. I'm here to kill you. Draw wooden bow. I'm here to kill you. Draw gun. You know what? Going. Ah, oh, <laughs> shit. I wanted to save so I could skip all that dialogue. You to return to the others and tell come on. You know far too much now, and would only corrupt the wager. You will remain here as my servant until the wager is won. Let me or save. The golden rule is broken. It is not open for discussion. All right, I want you to put an end to the golden rule. <laughs> your hubris is amusing, so I will allow you to make your case. But I warn you, if you anger me, or waste my time with lies or wrong Okay, so it's arguments. a harder version of the uh, the Egyptian guy. face death here. So, tell me, why should I put an end to the so-called golden rule? Shit. Let me think about this. Golden Rule is corrupting the city and ensuring you'll never win this wager. If you're doing this for love, you should know that Perserpina doesn't love you. Okay, let's not, let's not fucking do that. Yeah, you know what? I think three will give us, like, an opportunity to press. How so? And be specific. You have made a grave allegation, and I expect you to back it up. Who 
Scorpius has become so paranoid that he's jumping at shadows, like Virgil's sexuality. He is a volatile and confused fellow, that one. Theseus is price gouging for life-saving medicine because he knows nobody can take it by force. True. I have witnessed him doing that. Melios has trapped people in dead bondage by convincing that convincing them that rebelling would break your law. His cruelty does seem to grow greater by the day. It's all the examples Pathetic. I can think of. You will need to really? do a lot better than that. How can you expect us to live without sin if you can't do it yourself? That is a very serious accusation, mortal. What sin have I committed? What evidence do you have to support it? Did you abduct for serpent and prisoner here? Actually, you've given terrible punishments to hundreds of people, some for minor sins and some who committed no sins at all. Every one of those people was guilty of failing to ensure their peers lived virtuously. They failed collectively, and so they were punished collectively. The Romans understand this, as did the Greeks before them. If our positions were reversed, you wouldn't want me to punish you for the sins of other people. Ah, but I am a god, and you are a mortal. Why would you expect me to treat you as I treat my own kind? You are not a peer. You are not a respected equal. Let me ask you this. Do you treat insects as you wish to be treated? Oh, you got Do you me. Care there. for their well-being as you would your fellow man. Do you ensure they have food and shelter and protection from predators? Do you <laughs> give right. them rights? No. Of course not. Because that would be absurd, just as it would be absurd for me to treat your kind as equals. What makes your kind superior to mine? Where to begin? Our lifespans exceed yours by thousands of years. Ah, we'll get years, there in time. In which time we accumulate vast wisdom and a mastery of technology you cannot begin to imagine. I spans you're not immortal then. It would be most unwise to get ideas about I don't know. me. All right, why does because your wisdom and technology make you superior? Power over you. Yo, Shiro, don't be backseat McGee. Come on. This isn't Twitch Plays the Forgotten City. I do have a Glock. So you think you're not obliged to treat us fairly because you're more powerful than us? Hmm. You could say that. What was it that the Roman Stoic said? Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you? My kin have no superiors. But what if there were? Yeah, actually, hold on a second. Yeah, didn't you say Jupiter was your leader? That's a hierarchy. Hmm. That is true. Go on. So are you treating humans the way you would wish Jupiter to treat you? Make your point, mortal. I'm saying, if you can't follow your own rule, how can you expect humans to? Let me ponder that for a moment. If you are right, then it would follow that all this time, I have been in the wrong. But, no. The very thought of it aggrieves me. How can I accept your argument, when doing so would make me a I mean, you don't have to stay a, a tyrant and a monster. Okay, so I think he'd be more willing to accept that he's committed atrocities than if he had, if he's a human. I think calling him a human is going to piss him off way more. Your hubris grows tiresome. You will make a fine statue. Really? <laughs> Do you really think you can wound me, a god, with that primitive weapon? You may be immortal, but your beloved isn't. How dare you threaten her? This ends now. Okay, hold on. The Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, it doesn't pull out my gun! Oh no, there's my gun. Where the fuck is her crown? Wow, 
Why am I forced to walk instead of sprint? Where did her fucking crown go? It's showing me sentious. Is it over where she was? Let's take a look. Ah. There we go. Rewind time? Okay, bye! Oh, yeah, shooting him didn't do anything. I was close to convincing him? I don't know. Yo. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need you to... Oh, shit. Yulia. All right. Uh, tell him Aliolis you know his real what? name. All right, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. Bird. I'll go. Okay, hopefully this doesn't stop me from doing anything. But this should prevent the uh, suicide dialogue from triggering. So, we're gonna go back. After this, and we'll check two things. One of which is what happens if we pull out the gun immediately and use it. The other is if uh, Centralis wins the election. And then we'll see how he decides to screw it over. Ah, did I save after loop? I auto saves, but that's a good point. And here you are. No girl to the sim but the one yeah, 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 I want to talk to you. See this? I I would recognize that anywhere. And yet my beloved still wears hers. What is this? How did you come by it? I took it from her after I killed her in another timeline. You vile, despicable creature. Why would you do such a thing? And worse still, boast about it. I didn't want to kill her, but if you don't put an end to the Golden Rule, I will do it again. You... You have put me in an impossible position. If I refuse, you will murder her. And yet, if I agree, I will lose my wager and return to Elysium humiliated and alone. Well, 
now. What's it going to be? I do not see that I have a choice in this. Your treachery and savagery have opened my eyes like nothing I have witnessed in 3,000 years. And now you have shown me your species' true colors. And I see that Proserpina was a fool to have ever believed in you at all. This has gone on too long. I got this. I got an achievement called it's time Psycho. For me to let go of this form of her, of all of you. But know this: if I abandon the way journey for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. Why can't we go to Elysium? Because despicable creatures like you have no place there. My kin would never allow it. The best I can do is return you to the land of the living. I will have Charon make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Why? Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes created sense. created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict. But that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. You would best pray our paths never cross again, mortal. All right, we did it. Now we're going to do... Now I have two other plans. We're gonna see what happens if I pull out the gun, and we're gonna see what happens if I... Oh. What's up? Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. Thought we're I gonna see what happens along. if, uh... I'm how senseless, like, makes the time loop happen if he wins. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Know who you are. I barely remember. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius. Oh, Galerius! He described an account into a tablet. Apparently, there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the hey, ills of the oracle. city, like saving the life of a dying woman, foiling an assassination Holy attempt, shit. and so on. Meanwhile, the oracle walked up to the Temple of the Mysterious Yo, God, it actually right kept here, track of what we told him to do. And demanded an audience, and the doors just opened up to her. Nobody knows what went on in there, but... Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook now, and the three. voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have this suffered has to be long ending enough. Four. Unfortunately, you don't know Galerius if there's like permutations sort of, of ending four. Stops after that. This is definitely ending leaving four. a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him, and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? Uh, that was me. Uh, what? Oh, no, it that was me. For a moment there, I thought you were serious. Man, if only I, if only I, I told Galerius my name. the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. I'm right behind you. Our psychotic persuasive attempts are very Greek. True. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure you Ah, Karen's there. You're back. But you're alone. Ah, oh, why don't you tell me? I discovered you not who you said you were. I remember meeting you 2,000 years ago. Ah, I see. There we go. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Are you you can just call me Charon. 
If you like. I do not enjoy that. Okay, so yeah, we've seen this. That you died. My hmm. most ask yourself. That you okay, yeah, that we, you we've already gotten this before. It means there is nobody else to ferry here. Perhaps a long time ago, my order. It means there is no. Okay. I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all about it. But, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop okay. in my boat and rest while so I... this should be ending for... ...ferry you back to civilization. Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Yep. Alright. Okay. Oh, there's a there's an epilogue if we get ending four. What? Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. I hope you're adjusting to life as a civilian. I hear it takes a long time. Anyway, after everything you've been through. I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius' tablet, and I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you, I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. Okay. Whoa! You're finally here. Remember me? Galerius! Crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Oh, hell yeah, he's still around. To start our lives over. Only, for some reason, oh, no. she us into your world. They got put into the ours. modern world. Anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. What are you doing these days? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it, too. With enough room for Dooley, of course. Oh, hell yeah. It's hard work, but I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I... I wouldn't change it for the world. I know! I can't believe my luck. Yo, you scored the priestess? That's... Engaged and living together. My man! to get married next spring. If you're gonna be around, we'd love to oh, see I'd you. Oh, I'd love to. Hot damn. Of course, there's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Yo, my boy! Oh, You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just teasing. <laughs> Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this. I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. Yeah, Galerius what are you doing these and days? I are engaged and expecting. Well, We've congratulations. Just a lovely villa in the countryside with room for a large family and Dooley, too, of course. It feels like the world has just opened up for us. There's so much to learn and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. We're just so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. How's Livia? Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She's still around, she okay. Nicely. And here. In fact, she's here somewhere. If you'd like to ask her yourself. I'll do that. Alright. See you at the wedding, I hope. Dooley! Hello. <laughs> I'm Dooley. Yeah, Hello, I remember you. You're very nice. And a big helper. You're a little bastard, you know yes, that, Dooley, but it's all right. It all worked out in the end. I live at Galerius and e Equitia's house. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things. 
uh, brushing my teeth. We never found your treasure. treasure. Oh, I forgot about that. I like my box now. Galerius got me a box that tells A box that tells- oh, a TV. Oh, favorite. congratulations. Yeah. Story boxes are great, aren't they? Yeah. They're fun. Alright, well, bye -bye. nice seeing you, Dooley. There she is! It's you. Alright, who this? Oh! You're... You're the Oracle, right? Ah, uh, Yulia. Oh, of course. Sorry. And I never got a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And, of course, getting me and all of us out of a terrible situation. Oh, I barely recognize myself. I'm living in a house share in London with my wonderful girlfriend. And I'm studying English at university. Eventually, I want to travel the world and write about it. Turns out, it's about 30 times bigger than the Roman Empire ever You should ever watch Fino's stream instead. You know, there are you know what? Continents. Yes, Rome we'll get duly addicted. Existed. And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft, which is rather like flying on a Pegasus. But I do wonder how much of the dialogue changes based I'm on what sorry, you do in the final loop. you know all that, of course. I'm just so excited. Like, if you go through and resolve so everyone's problems, and learn and write like, maybe about. it's different. I have noticed people from your time have no idea how fortunate they are. I hope to change that. One day. This is making me wonder if there's actually a way to get last around. I heard, um, Maliolus kept insisting he was the last rightful ruler of the Roman Empire, and wound up being. Wait, Maliolus is in a fucking psych ward hospital. now. Good job. As for Claudia, she was always so viciously unhappy. Someone said she'd blown all her money on wine, trying to Yikes. drink herself back to the underworld. After the horrific way they treated Ulpius and me. I can't help feeling as Yeah, that's a good question, Zavinosk. I wonder, I do word? wonder. Schadenfreude? I think you're allowed to feel that way. Yeah, sounds like they got what was coming to them. I couldn't agree more. I'm no really. Ugh. Someone told me she was boasting about getting her claws into some rich prince. And how she was going to be living the high life from now on. Even in your time, life still isn't fair. Apparently, he'd proposed before they'd even met. And last I heard, she'd bought herself a first-class one-way ticket to join him in some exotic place they called... before they even met? What was it? Nigeria? <laughs> some people have a Oh, no! Well... She met a Nigerian prince! So I suppose I'll take your word for it. Huh. I feel better already. Thank you. You too! If you're ever in London, let me know. We can go to bars and drink wine and listen to the stories of the nine million people who live there. You know what? I'll take you up I on that. I hope so. Oh, uh, you know what? Now I want to do a like a try a perfect run. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Lucy is fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave Honestly, us alone. Honestly, a pretty smart play, yeah. Speaking of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. No, 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 people running I'd around with Roman names isn't all that abnormal you, these days. I hear you like, people will look at you weird, but they wouldn't, they'll just so, think you're a hipster or something. I'm studying to get into medical school. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world, if begrudgingly, one patient at a time. All right, well, it's good you to see too. you. You too. Don't be a stranger. Hello. Ah, good old Apollo. Hey. Hey, Roman Evening. Shield. Wait a second. Ah! Hi there, I'm Horatius. Horatius, you I went into the military. You to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. So, thank you. What are you doing these days? I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer one day. The world's changed a lot. But some things stay the same. Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Barker. Still, 
I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. As Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our paths aren't our masters, but our guides. Oh yeah. So you're never gonna see your girl again. Ah, oh, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time, but that's done. In the words of Epictetus, Italy's current prime minister has a colleague named Caius Julius Triumphant Caesar Mussolini. That's a hell of a name. They are mortal. Remind yourself, your precious one. Some people still rep the Roman names. Hey, can't blame them. But something given for now. A name like Not that. Thanks. Oh, and I don't know if you've heard, but a few of us are going for drinks later. It'd be nice to um, chat with you some more. Sounds good. Right. He's not my. Oh, I see what you did there. Good one. He had more trouble adapting than most. Demetrius was the uh, gladiator. Disqualified from the UFC. Oh no! Kind what the fuck? Round blood sport tournament <laughs> like we had in Rome. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out, and his life along with it. Holy you shit, he had made an underground illegal Live fighting tournament sword, and died. Die by the sword. Holy shit. Hmm. Perhaps. See you at drinks later, I hope. Ah, sent you. I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia became Cynthia. I didn't Cynthia. want to be associated with Sentius after what happened. Oh, yeah, I'm can't not we sure too, if uh... you heard. But after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the Great Temple. Really? She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little Holy sister shit, so locked herself up in the upper cistern all that popped time. Out of the, but he's been popped out of stasis with. and was like, he's, hey, motherfuckers. Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never see him again. What are you doing with yourself Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me. <laughs> because it's just awful out there. <laughs> Alexa, huh? It's everywhere. He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue Holy in the Holy shit, he's the only one Trapped left there? In a metal yeah, shell, fuck him. Slowly losing his mind. I guess he got, he got what he wanted. Time. Eternal torment. Just what he deserves, if you ask me. Well, he did once tell me he wanted to live forever. <laughs> then I suppose he got his wish. You too. See you around. Dude, this is a beast of an epilogue. Hot damn. Oh! Georgius. Greetings. You must be the legendary oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgius. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from Hades, and for that I am most grateful. What are you doing with yourself? I am reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last two thousand years. I barely recognize it. This is at once heartbreaking and thrilling. Perhaps one day, once I have seen all of this new Greece, I'm feeling a temptation to try it. Try doing like the perfect move. In a villa overlooking the what do you guys think? Should we go for I it? Hope you will join me. I mean, we have some other business first. The story of how you faced off against the fearsome god of the underworld and won. Hey, consider me there. It's good to see you, you again. too, my friend. You're the one we've been waiting for. Fabia. Fabia. Holy shit. Uh, Fabia, like, thanks for sending Galerius listen, I'm to save glad to life. see you again, but why are you dressed up as, like, Fred Flintstone and Wilma at the same time? By that shrine for sure. I'm just so happy to be here with you and everyone together again, even if it's just for one more night. Well, it's not like I have to work with all the silver Caron gave me, so I just do what makes me happy. Mostly that means baking for my friends and looking at memes while binging TV shows in yoga pants. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Oh, oh, a life really well spent. Is. You too. 
Oh! <laughs> the fucking Diogenes over here. I take it you're the oracle everybody's talking about. It's a Watch as we find out he's find actually Diogenes. We have. I'm sorry, I don't remember. In any case, I'm Philip. I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now I'm living in the. The question is whether we should use the save file from the loop where we have for serving his crown. I think we should and just sit on it and I not have use it. I to thank for it. I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap in their knowledge. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around enlightened minds again. My sincere thanks once again. Yeah, Teaspoon, you've, you've uh, done the min-max of this before, right? What the fuck? Some Which swallow, arrangement do you think we should go for, go oh, with? Oh, hello at last. You must this be Oracle prick. I don't know so much about. I'm Dacius. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. No, oh, you're welcome. Most gracious. You know you. what? Let's not spoil the mood. I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice. You being the oracle and future seer and all that. On Enron. which stocks I should invest in next. Enron. Enron, Enron Worldcom. Films, tobacco, gambling, and uh, arms. Fucking uh, Freddie Mac, recommend? Fannie Mae. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal, Dacius. I won't take no for an answer. Right, Stearns. Print media is going to make a huge oh, comeback. Of course, yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much <laughs> as I can tonight. I'm going to make a bloody fortune. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. Hey, man. Nice course, seeing you and good luck it. with the stocks. Thanks again for the tips, my friend. Oh, you won't be thanking me for long. Good evening. Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary and I'll never forget it. I'm living in Rome days? again, in a charming little flat by the Tiber. I'm not far from my old place. Oh, and... I'm training to be a crisis. You know what? Leader. Given what happens After in most loops, you sent to persuade Ulpius not to take his own life. I was inspired. I just want to spend the rest of my life helping people, like you helped him. Yeah, it's a noble Thank cause. You. That means a lot. And you. Greetings. Ah, it's Livia. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating us all. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while, at least until I'm well enough to be independent again. Very good point. Ah, you remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid, but that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up on now. I'm already up to the 19th century and am quite oh, enjoying the, the work 19th? of a fellow named Poe. I think I may have found a kindred That's spirit. a lot of poetry. Men have called me mad. But the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Well said. And you. Farewell, friend. Wait, no one's here? Oh, it's Kabosh! It is an honor to finally meet you, Oracle. Holy shit, that's a jacket. You know my name? Oh, of course. You are an Oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place. And for your role in bringing Oh god, whatever happened to the insane lady in the palace? Truly wondrous. Oh shit. 
For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. And I came to see there is nothing to find out. there. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. It is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, hell yeah, the 42 I sins to commit. Fun. Let's go. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Oracle. Hello there. Oh, it's Centaur. Oh. I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. Fair play. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me. And that monster got what was coming to him. Sounds like he got what he deserved. Mm -hmm. I'm living things. with Ulpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's even more wonderful than I dreamed it would be. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. You can try some of our very own wine. Holy shit. You know what? Thanks. I'll you take you up on that. Hi. Ah, Opius. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. I'm Opius. I understand I have you to thank for sending Galerius to save my life. The way you just showed up out of the blue and stopped me from making a terrible mistake. I'll be forever in your debt. What you doing these days? I'm living with Gabriella in Umbria. We finally bought the little vineyard we always dreamed of. Oh my god, you know what I realized about Sanchez's plan? We know what we're doing, but every we were literally day I his look last lifeline. And this extraordinary new world with all its because, beauty. Because um, we're the I, we had the last think, coin. It was us and Al. What if I'd given up hope? So if we had uh Missed out. If on we had all of taken this. taken the coward's so way out, each day to the fullest, he would have immediately like and just... we end them all the same way. Sitting yeah, he would have immediately game over with a glass of our wine, which the locals say is almost drinkable now. And watching the sun, so he just screwed himself over for no reason. Side. And I couldn't be happier. Thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. You too. Oh! Nice to meet you. I go by Rufus now. New start. No, oh, you know what? Name. Oh, and change uh, from Rufius to Rufus. Thanks, it's a good idea. You probably don't want Rufi in your name what you these days. Sorry, I'm no good with the mushy stuff. I we'll cause the gold thing at the original loop. So what happens is that once um, Maliolus wins the election, he tries to have Sentinelus beat to death. But the fighting itself in the wall breaks the golden it rule and starts the apocalypse. Rebuilt itself. Good place for a fresh start. Haven't because Maliolus is kind of a dickhead. To do with my life yet. Hmm. One adjustment at a time. You too. Look us up next time you're in the Netherlands. I'm... We're grateful. Ah, that's my boy Virgil! Hello. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. And Hi. for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. Looking like Minecraft, Steve! come off a little gruff, but once you get past that, He's a lovely fellow. I'm studying to be an architect again and living with Rufus in our beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings like and clean streets you know what? You're educated, right. accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. You too, as Rufus said in his own laconic way. If you're ever in the Netherlands, We'd love to show you around. It's the least we could do. The 
This is it, the final area. Anyone we missed? I don't think so. Oh. There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. I now, certainly did. one more did. person I wanted to introduce Oh, yo, is it time? I think you know her. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, oh, long shit. time. Oh, shit. Yeah, I recognize that Allow voice. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Prasathana, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal, and now a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person, and thank you for freeing all these people and me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. You're whispering to me all along. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. Yeah, you know what? You did what you could. I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather, as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. So I whispered to Sentius in secret, telling him the prayer required to create a portal in my shrine. I knew the danger of humans being corrupted by godly power. And so I put a safeguard in place. I required the creator of the portal to sacrifice their own life. So that it could only be used selflessly to help others. What I did not anticipate is that Sentius would retain his accumulated memories from each previous day. And as a veteran soldier, he had long since shed his fear of death. He quickly discovered that he could, in effect, prolong Man, there's any number of people you could have told that secret to. Cycle. Of course, once I had taught him the prayer, I could not unteach him. And there was little I could do but wait for someone like you to come along and see him for what he was. We were all fortunate you came along when you did. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him, and I rather hope it stays that way. Karen? Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Oh, the shit. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't say what it was, but I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. Uh -oh. I imagine we all will, one day. The accursed Karen. And you, although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Of Good. Course. Because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Hey! Of all the heroes who ever journeyed to the underworld in return, none came close to achieving what you did. Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas would be proud. The canon ending is the achievement that I got. Four out of four. We did it! Hot damn. Yo, you know what? This is a very good game. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a little rough around the edges in a few places. A little glitchy. Alright, see ya, man. But honestly, it's a very fun game. And considering it started off as a, um... As a Skyrim mod, it's honestly come a very long way. All right, see if Ro. Let's see. I'm kind of curious. Have, have they done anything else since the Forgotten City? Okay, it's by Modern Storyteller, which doesn't have a highlighted page, so I don't know if they've done anything since. Yeah, I don't. S well, a, a tentative glance hasn't really pulled anything up for uh, subsequent games, but we'll see. That's great. It's great stuff. Yeah, I mean, here's hoping that we'll see more stuff from them someday. Oh, shit.
right, so our plan now is to go to... You know what, let's go to... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me see if I can find the one where we uh, do it right before the... Right at the start of a cycle. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna leave the Great Temple. Bye! <laughs> Alright. Here, so I'll do instead. was an outstanding experience. So that one is the obelisk. So I haven't attached anything to the obelisk yet in this timeline. Okay, never mind. I, I probably will have to go back and do it. Which is a little annoying, but that's fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up to have... Um, both of the new endings. Actually, no, so there's three goals, right, in order of importance. We're going to see what happens if Sentinelist wins the election. Which means that we have to force What's-His-Face to drop out. And there's a couple of people who I don't think there's any way of saving. Because they're just kind of dickheads in the first place. Like the gladiator and the uh, the wino lady. I don't think we can save. Sentilus? No, saving Sentilus is not possible. That guy's a prick and he refuses to talk to us. Like, we'll see if we can convince Hades to go without a fight. That's my goal. Like, it's one of my goals. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, forcefully start a new loop. Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, shit, hurry up, Sandalus. Fuck anymore. You wanna hurry this shit up, Sendalus? I'm kinda dying here. Thank you. Okay. So this will be our fresh save. Salve, friend. Uh, I don't. Oh, I guess how much did I? No problem. See you later. Yeah, we'll talk to him later. So we'll resolve a few things. First of all, we're gonna run over to the villa. Yeah, our goal is to get in touch with everyone. You, Sisyphus. Attack or pursue the stem. Yeah, so we'll do a couple of things. So we'll make a save that's the that's the framework for all of our good endings. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. Demetrius doesn't use. All right, I want you to withdraw from the election. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, because yeah, there we go. I, I. So. Oh. Fine. I'll have to there. There we go. Now let's see if we can do anything with Wino. That's one loose end complete. That guy's beyond savings. So he's gonna be a dickhead no matter what. Demetrius, are you listening? Yes, sir. I've made a decision to talk. Yulia Anopius and withdraw from the election. I want you to go and inform. My marital affairs and. I think a better quest. I have quite. I just had a. Okay, now nah, we essentially have nothing to talk to her about. You don't even give us the option of uh, getting back at. Those are my orders. Getting back at the husband. As you wish, sir. All right, Demetrius is busy right now. That's fine. We'll leave him as is. Let's go find the. Yeah, let's go just see who's around and who we can help. You. I gotta have a gift. What are you doing in here? She needs the resin of a. Here, what? take some. Julia? Hopefully, that was extra. A what? I'm so. That was. You just. And me. In the me. That's a. Sh All right. A fellow traveler from a faraway land. Yeah, let's have our, at least our introductory conversations Why? with everyone. I hope. Him, we can wait because there's a loose end that we got to deal with first. Well, I'll tell you. Now you're talking. Five thousand. Oh, that's a little. Ex Think of it as an investment. A few little coins in exchange for riches beyond all imagining. All right, all right. But I'm going to need you to tell me. In that case, deals off. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not be too hasty, friend. I just want a little assurance that I can trust you. That's all. I mean, you get this bow, didn't I? Actually, well, the golden rule won't allow me to not deliver on my promises. Hmm, I suppose you're right. All right. You drive a hard bargain, but here's your money. Now, the location of that bow. Fair Diana. Uh, what? But I already knew that, you imbecile. Everyone knows that. I can't take that golden bow because stealing from the goddess in her own shrine would break the golden rule. You promised to tell me where I could get one of my own. You take it, and you'll be able to keep it for the rest of your life. What is this? <laughs> 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 I don't believe this is happening. <laughs> I do love a don't good loophole. Talk to me. Oh, get fucked, asshole. Oh, he's gonna have some great stuff to say to me in the future. Hmm. A golden bow. Just like Apollo and Diana. Help! You Alright, I'll get right on it. <sighs> do not go in what? there. Just trust me. Uh, all right. Uh... All right, let's go talk to this guy. Uh, they're still saving him. Stop right there. I am look. Yes. I saw him worshiping in a small round shrine just inside the city. Second building on your left. Thank you for your service. To <laughs> Ah. Rufius. Names. Oh, your rheumatism. Here. Hello. Fine. I. I. No idea. Ah, it's fine. And I. I'm. Yeah, okay. So we got that taken care of. All 
right. Assassin's dead. Good. Virgil. Ah, I hear we. All right. Uh. Oh. Nice to talk to you. It doesn't matter anymore. Wait, what? Oh, that's Citizen. interesting. Uh, they don't give us the option anyway. Oh, whatever. The conversation starter is good enough. You... an accident? I... I do... Yes, I knew it was gonna you collapse. Oh, you fucking idiot! Uh I didn't murder shots. him! Shit! Alright, hold on. God damn it. I forgot about that. I forgot that was a trap response. Ah, I hear. Nice to talk. You fucking idiot. You. And I. I don't un. Oh, I think I promise. No, I'll. Oh. All right. Okay, never mind. Hey. Did that? Didn't really have a problem to solve. All right, we'll uh, say hi to Dooley. Hello. Bye bye. Oh wait, there's a Greek plaque in there, but we keep the one we have. Interesting. So our first goal is just to say hi to everyone. Stop him from killing himself? Oh, it's you. You're a fucking prick. Oh, you're here. And uh, I can. Not in. Just don't waste your breath. I know you're a horrible person. How dare you? Yeah, fuck Get you, Aurelia. Me, you pig. You fucking dickhead. If you give like half of the response, she'd be like, oh, you're so boring. Uh, I think she sold a fake, a fake way of escaping or something like that. Boy, how did you get in there, you cheeky little stuff? And that got, that indirectly got them killed or something. Citizen. Oh no, I think she might have uh, sold. No, let's not. <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it. Oh yeah, she offered her way out. It was poison, that's true. Salve, Fred. Welcome to life. Ah, we've all- I used- I- Hit- I won't- If you All right. I can't believe this is how it ends. OPS! Wait, 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 wait. I'll save you. No, 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 no. OPS. That's the. What? Why do you. I know. Please. I'm sorry. Please help him. Thank you. If I. Uh, we're. I just. We're, I'll go. Hey, alright, you're good. Alright, that's one more down. Okay, so now we just need to talk to Livia, I think? We haven't talked to Livia and some people in the villas.
um, Catacombs guy and Palace, Crazy Palace Lady. I don't know if, I don't think we can reason with Crazy Palace Lady. She's already been, like, gunning open statues and having them, their mutilated inhabitants run out. So I'm just gonna write that one off as an impossibility. All weapons are to be tough. What is it? Today? Unless any of you have evidence to the contrary. I'm a. I. Uh, I'm not any. My camp. That's why. Ah, the bus. All right. Hey, Tofu Slayer, thank you for the 39 months. Is this game a first person POV of Septum? Thank fuck it's not. It's actually far more interesting. It's a uh, <laughs> ancient went. Roman oh, time traveling time loop murder mystery thing. Oh, what? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do this. No, fuck. I'm afraid, because... No! The many shall suffer. Shit, I forgot. Oh my god, dude, my thing was vibrating out of control. I forgot there's some lines of dialogue that'll immediately trigger game overs. Okay, it's not that big of a deal, though. It's right after we saved, uh... Yeah, it's right after we saved him, so we didn't actually lose that much time. She technically is just in the- is she actually in the crowd? Wow, dude, they- they were pretty forgiving about the whole, uh... Unpeel them- unpeel their statues and turn them into living abominations thing. Is proof of a degenerate mind. Yo. <laughs> Whatever it. Oh, I'm. Oh. No! Okay. Right, that's the only dialogue option. I forgot about that. Alright, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just initiate dialogue then. That's fine. I made this save for a reason. Yeah, I'm surprised the flayed statues uh, look fine. <laughs> oh, oops. God, these saves happen in a weird order. Oh, I guess the latest one isn't, like, shown separately. Never mind, I should have thought of that. Yo. Oh, I wish... I'm sent... What... Really? Now... Alright, fine. Frick. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked to the priestess yet. I'm a... I'm not my back. Uh... Or... Yo. What now? See you, dickhead. Whatever. She might be in the center now. Oh, hey, Opius. Shalom. You mean where am I from? But when that's where oh, I'm from, Judea. Okay. Hello. All right. Alve. That makes sense. A new face. You did? I'm impressed. What did you find in there? The Roman temple leads to a Greek temple, which leads to an Egyptian temple, which leads to a Sumerian temple, which leads to the god of the underworld. Wait, what? Sumerian? As in the east of the Euphrates, where Babylon is. What a fucking explanation. Let me see if I understand you. Our ancestors built over the Greeks' temple, copied their religion, and changed their god's name from Hades to Pluto. But the Greeks had done much the same thing to the Egyptians. And the Egyptians had done the same things to the Sumerians before them. If that's true, then I've spent my whole life serving a goddess. Oh, well, good news, your goddess is real. A copy of a copy of a copy. 
It's no wonder I never felt like my prayers to Vesta were answered. All that time. Who was I even talking to? Did I even know her name? Uh, the god within the temple seems like he's the last one. The rest were here once, but they've moved on. I see. That is a lot to take in. I think I would like to be alone now, if you don't mind. Alright, we just blew her mind. Hmm, a golden bowl. Just like oh, a Oh shit, where, what's her Diana's? face? Like? I've never actually talked to her yet. And you know, we've never actually been able to enter this building. And I don't, last I checked, there hasn't been a key. But it's a locked door. It has an open command, so I take it there's some, there's one somewhere in the game. Or maybe it just wasn't, like, put in. So I just give her a Dorito fair play. Alright, uh, let's see. So we gotta talk to Hemlock Girl. Oh, there you are. I hope you're coping. Oh. Was there some... No. Okay, so we've had the first meeting. We're gonna have to talk to her in the, uh, the caverns. So there's Cavern Girl, and then there's, uh, Cave Guy. And Philosopher Guy. And Libya, I think, are the ones we're missing. Now, there's a lot of people to talk to. So first, yeah, Livia. Livia Cave Chain. Yeah, yeah, Kamash is the cave guy. Oh, yeah, and the philosopher guy. So there's four people. We gotta talk to four people. Holy shit. Busy, busy, busy. Hey, what's Olivia? Just as but it said that I I he give up the that and Yep, okay, thank you. Alright, so now we head into the cave system. The cave system is behind the temple of uh Demeter, if I recall correctly. Pick the your human and made a mistake choice. You know what? I will. Be careful who you trust. Look at me just sprinting everywhere like a fucking psycho. I wonder if it's even worth going all the way through the enemies to uh, visit Kabosh, but whatever, I'll do it. Ain't that bad of a guy. Listen, it's not like, uh, the, he's not like the flaying people alive lady. Come Yo. Come join me by the fu- Welcome. We had this conversation below, or before, you were, we're going to explain the, that the exertion of power required to create utopia will always result in tyranny. Uh, I was indeed. <laughs> We've never met before, have we? I'm sure I would have remembered. Blessedness, sir. Am I losing my memory? I'm caught in a time loop. Oh, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought it was I who was touched. Shut the fuck up, Hermit, you prick! I assume you're asking me this as some kind of amusing <laughs> This guy. No, I met him, but I wasn't able to persuade him. I'm gonna try again. Extraordinary. Then let me see if I can help you. I like how this guy thinks I'm fucking first, insane, but he doesn't care anymore. I'd want to know about his reasons for imposing the golden rule and what he considers a sin. If I could expose some internal inconsistency in his reasoning, some degree of hypocrisy, I might be able to compel him to change his position. But as a philosopher, the saddest truth I ever learned is that all but the most enlightened opponents are emotion more easily swayed by appeals to emotion than by reason. So the easiest path will be to find his emotional susceptibility and exploit it. 
If he was vain, I might try to flatter him. If he was merciful, I would try to evoke pity. As a last resort, I might figure out what he fears losing above all else, and if I could, threaten to take it away. Though, of course... Okay, so he's stumbled upon. Awry. Now, go quickly while my words are still fresh in your memory. Good to see you again. I enjoy... Alright, so that's step one. Now we go talk to... Let's go find our good pal, Kabach. Fuck me. Oh, is the ghoul not here this time? Interesting. Oh. No! I'm going to I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try that one more time. Dude, I, I scuffed the jump because you have to press B to jump in this game, not A. Oh, shit. Uh, how about this one? I want us to have the extra health because I want to try and fight him. Seven packs for two towers over 20th. SSRs, congratulations. Wait, seven packs? Oh, Jesus! That is pretty rough. With a waiver and a Xuanzang? Holy shit. Alright, we did it. Yo. Stop. Do not. I'm Fina. I am Ka hmm. 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 I was planning to return it my here. Thank you. Now. Uh, in I stop. Have it. You may inf Why? It, I It has see as when even as it. Hmm. <laughs> I am glad to it is it and that You have to be all destroyed for you. Nah, fuck that. You with this Please you are don't too late. It is done. Alright, well. It could not have got now. I think if someone is to break the golden rule, do to the as for the punishment that will come from it. Alright, well wait. I urge you. All right. <laughs> Honestly, he can have his fucking cake. I already have the plate. Sorry, the plaque. So it doesn't actually matter to me. Oh! The fucker was waiting for me. Yeah, what's up, doldrums? I hope we didn't have to complete his full arc. That'd be a little annoying. Nobody got time for that. 
Ah, you've returned. Your doming costs as much as my squirt? It's horrifying. Okay, so I believe we've spoken to everyone? Except, uh. Yes, except for, uh, Centilla, who's trapped in a cave. And Crazy Lady up there. Who I'm not gonna talk to. I do like how the game just indirectly goads you into doing a 100% playthrough. I hope you're coping. Like 100% speed run. Even though it's not strictly required to get the best, like, to get the good ending. It's a very fun way of doing it. Thanks a lot. Listen to me. You. We. What? I. All right. Nice talking to you. Salve. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save in front of the priestess and try to initiate an immediate uh, election. The Sentinelist will win by default, which will let us see the Sentinelist ending. Actually, here. Let's do this. Let me save here. again. Well, Maliolus has withdrawn. Why do you ask? Uh, can we start the election now? As I said. Hmm. Very well. Alright. Citizens. This will let us see I how Sentilus uh, perpetuates the loop if he wins the election. So I don't think he's going to let the status quo just go because that's an uncertain future. Now, Galerius hasn't joined into this one. Ooh, slight problem. I'll need to go back to a, an older save if I want to try and uh, shoot my gun at Hades. I forgot, I don't have any bullets. That's fine. I have a save for that somewhere. I have to go back a couple of iterations, but I can make it happen. Did it bug out? It's showing Georgius's, uh... Oh, never mind. We're waiting for, uh, you. All right, Rufius, come on. Get the lead out. Maliolus has withdrawn from the election. Since no challenger has been nominated, Sextus Sentius Imperiosus will remain your magistrate for another term. My fellow citizens, you've placed your trust in me once again, and you won't regret it. I vow that each day henceforth will be just like this one. 
You and I will asshole. Deliver. I see what you did there. You a new arrival, whatever your name is. You're responsible for this, aren't you? Nobody likes Kappa Murday foreigners interfering in an election. Shut up and let the magistrate speak. Maliolus is gonna be magistrate by the end of the day. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Really, Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Wait, I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. Wow, he refuses to accept the results. You doom us all. Lies. It is time the golden rule was exposed. Wow, to he doesn't keep his word, huh? It's only if uh, Galerius wins that he doesn't do this. But if Galerius wins, then the golden rule is real, you idiot. Shut Dickhead up, gets freed. The magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. It's real. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Really? What are you doing? All right. Okay, so we have this save. This is what we'll use. I think this is what we'll use to uh, get the good ending. But let me go backwards a little while. Is this the one? Great Temple 809. It could be the 736 one that I'm looking for. Because that's before I used my bullets. Okay, that, that's a little more anticlimactic than I thought. I thought Sendilus would do something stupid to force the loop. Oh, yeah, I can see the count already. I got my bullets. All right, let's go. I'm going to speed run this combo until I can pull out my gun, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, the election is the limit no matter what. And here, it's true. Alarm. <laughs> I just... As you would. <laughs> Look at him go. And as the to that is, I when as this should. So much for that. Here, let's try. Let me try and get the gun result again. I, if I just skip the first two sets of dialogues, I should be able to do it even faster. And here you are. Have us believe that my servant merely forgot bringing you here. Hmm. That sounds improbable to me. Charon, does this mortal speak the truth? Or should I strike her down where she stands? Perhaps. The waters of the River Lake are known to have that effect. Hmm. I will take you at your word. But as long as your past remains shrouded in mystery, it seems I must put your reckoning on hold. But answer this. Why have you come here? I'm here to kill you! 
<laughs> Do you really think you can wound me, a god, with that primitive weapon? How dare you threaten her? This ends now. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Shit, his junk is immortal too. All right, you win this time, Hades. Let's go. Let's see if we can resolve this peacefully this time. I have resolved everyone's plot threads to the extent that I'm willing to. I hope you're taking care of yourself. So let's see what happens. Dude, I was worried we'd run out of stuff to do, like, long before this point. The gun is good, the penis is evil, yeah. Because I should have thought about that. Alright, let's go. And here you are, allow me. No, but the one and I and what the day fur. My story is here. Let's run through all the dialogue so we know. It has come to be, and so. And then I wonder if it actually matters. Of course. You know what? Let's just go. Good. Only it is when I peer into Charon. When I do. If that. How did you. Cannot. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we should tell him. Impossible. Yeah, put it into the uh, golden uh, rule. If you. So. How so? That is a very... Every... Uh, let... Because... Make... Yeah, you're not a monster. You're a human and you made a mistake. Wait. What? What do you say? We make mistakes. It's in our nature. You have spoken eloquently. And yet, if what you say is true, it follows that my wager was fatally flawed from the beginning. But that would mean Jupiter, Preservator's father, who knew more about you than anyone, proposed a wager I could never win. Why would he do that? Huh. Ooh, all right, perhaps he made a mistake too. Perhaps he wanted you to abandon the wager so Preservant would be free from you. Let's not, let's just, you know, let's not uh, go with that. I don't think he'd feel threatened by Hades either, because, you know, if we're going by like Greek god power levels, Jupiter was like an order of, well, Zeus was like an order of magnitude above the others. A mistake? Yeah, let's go with mistake. The That's the simplest thought. greatest of us. Perhaps when you took on a human form, you took on some human foibles as well. Uh, your words sting, immortal. Oh, the music went away! Perhaps it is what I deserve. As difficult as this is to admit, I have suspected as much for a long time now. And I cannot deny it any longer. 
I've been so fixated on taking my beloved to Elysium that every time one of you sinned, it wore away my hope of being with her again. In time, I began to despise your kind for making her believe that you could ever be better than you are. But my rage was not born of malice. Quite the opposite. Everything I have done, I did because I loved her. Who knew this empathy of yours, which you celebrate so much, could have such a dark underside? This has gone on too long. It is time for me to let go of this form, of her, of all of you. But know this, if I abandon the way journey Lee for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. Hmm. Very well. I will have Charon make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for he you, was the older of them and rather fear by Zeus? I don't know about that. That doesn't sound right to me. Once this exodus begins, the events what will now fare. And again, I don't know if Hades ever really showed up in the Iliad. At least according to his own uh, boasting. Oh, literally all the other gods. Uh, hi there. Could pick a fight with Zeus. Give me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here? After I'm very fortunate. Apparently, they believe right, that. So this is all stuff we've seen. Freeing a falsely accused. Oh, there we prisoner, go. Foiling an assassination attempt. And so on. Then the or and the door. Nobody to be Okay, so this is stuff we've seen. Uh, any I'm gonna pause here. For okay, so it doesn't matter if I uh, if I initiate that dialogue or not. Does it anyway? You're back. Uh, what? Ah, I see. Okay, so this first I one's not skip. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. No, you not really. That I see no point in keeping. All right, let's go. But I have to ask one thing: that you keep this to yourself. Look, here comes Al now. Al, it's so good to see you. You were gone so long, I thought I'd never see you again. Kind of lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe, and there was a. Sounds like you. And you. All right, and so this will take us to the ending, and then we can go to the epilogue. Yeah, okay, straight to the epilogue this time. Good. Let's see who shows up this time. Hey, I hope you're adjusting to life after it. So after I'm. Why don't you? My boy Galerius. It's you. You're finally here. Remember me? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Charon appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only so seen this anyway, dialogue. I know we I wanted to say thank. Oh, I would Okay. Of course. Oh, hello. You're here. So you're the hero who's... I'm just... Gale it, we're just... Oh, it's sweet. Okay. Gale what? Yep. Bye -bye. There she is! I've spoken to all of them. There's an empty spot here, which would make me think that someone was supposed to be here, but I guess not. You're here! 
I wanted to come here and thank you again for saving my life. And of course... Oh, I'm eventually... Did you know that? And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft. Oh, sorry. I... Right. Last Maliolus I Claudia. heard, Maliolus kept in... As for Claudia, she was always so vicious. After okay, the horrific... So, yeah. I couldn't... Ugh. Someone told me she was... Even... Okay, but yeah. My... Aurelia still gets uh, scummed. Well, huh. You... Or scammed, rather. If you go into photo mode during the crowd, crowd shot, you can, you can point out the crazy girl. Oh, okay. I hope. Okay, yeah, so there's some minor changes in dialogue. Lucy, if the speaking. And. You t Hey. Here, we'll skip a few of them after this one. We'll, we'll talk to the ones that the what the guy that we screwed over big time. Right. He's not my he's gonna suppose but see Hi. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. I'm not sure if you heard. She knew right away what no but any of he You Okay, so most of her dialogue's the same. Except she acknowledges that she's seen us once before. Ah, there you are. And here you are. It's... Oh, and by the way, I go by Philip now. I never thought I'd leave that cave. And it seems I... I'm working as a consultant, not the... Aha, I have to admit. The sum total of human... Your contemporaries have... I hope so. My... Okay. There's Georgius. I am. I. I. You. Ah, oh, there he is. I want to say. Where? My. Oh. Some soiree, innit? We meet again, old friend. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation whatever you did in that. Dude, he took it pretty well. I can't the fact that we screwed him more for all that money. Ow. Okay, so DVD rentals, bright oh, future. Of course, yeah. I yeah, just... listen, get all of, of the course, blockbuster Daddy. that you can. Trust me. Good evening. We've spoken to Octavia before. You're... I, but thank you. I'm living in Rome again, watching you persuade Olpius. I just want... Thank you. Okay, yeah, so there's a very small changes in dialogue. We meet. Thank you. And. Yeah, there's some pretty small changes in dialogue. Just to acknowledge that we've spoken to them, I guess. Hmm. Plunder any Ah, there we go. Lately, my friend. I must say, I am ashamed of the way I acted when we first met. If I had known you would go on to confront and triumph over the tyrant masquerading as the Lord of Silence, I would never have blocked your passage. You yeah. are most gracious. It all worked out. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your okay, so this is the biggest divergence we've seen so far in that if we talk to Kabash. Truly wonderous. For a time, he actually I acknowledges to Alexandria, uh, but instead that I, little plot thread. In Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's see how Centella reacts again. to us. Uh, oh, I go by Gabriella now. Uh, not rescuing her immediately that, that one time. monster every time I heard my own name. And I wanted to say thanks and no hard feelings. Believing oh, me yeah, in the system there is. when you did. There is dialogue. I know it must have been a difficult decision, but it was the right one. And I'd imagine Georges and Virgil, not Georges and Virgil, uh, Virgil and uh, Rheumatitis guy Hi. have pretty similar dialogue. I'm living with Olpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's even so we'll more wonderful if the ending than I dreamed different. it would be. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. You can try some of our very own wine. Thanks. Hey, Olpius. Good to see you under... 
better circumstances than last time. I wanted to thank you for saving my life. And getting us all out of there. The way you just showed up out of the blue and stopped me from making a terrible mistake. I'll be forever in your debt. I'm living with Gabriella in Epso with sitting t and I thank you. You know what? What if we talk to them in reverse order? Let me try that. We meet again, my friend. I wanted Virgil. to say and for helping I'm of course you you if you Alright. Hi. Not not all that much difference in dialogue. Alright, anyone in this area? Oh shit, maybe there's something for talking to everyone. So you know what, let me just do that. Evening. I think we've spoken to everyone except Rufius. So let's do that. Let's just Good say our see. hellos. Although so Alright. And we're off. There you are. I hope you enjoyed no that. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. Ah, there she is. Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saying. Allow, I am pres- I wanted to- I- 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 He caught we all- I don't know what happened to him. Oh, Okay, so this dialogue is and the same. you. Oh, and one last. Good, because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of all I the can't go into photo mode. To the underworld in return. Yeah, you it doesn't let me. Close to achieving what you did. Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas would be proud. I'll take your word for it. That crazy lady somewhere there. Okay, so that's, yeah. So there's small differences between this and the uh, the the blackmail version of the ending four. Oh, was that a statue of us? Uh, if so, cool. All right. And with that, I believe we have done everything there is to do in the Forgotten City. Excellent game. Would highly recommend. Before we conclude our business for the night, I want to thank. Yeah, I want to thank Real Pocket Will for picking this as a goal stream. It was an outstanding time, and I'm very glad we finished it. Fucking great game. Uh, here's hoping that we get something, uh, something, you know, along, along similar lines in the future. But yes, with that said, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Tomorrow, we'll be playing Fake Grand Order and rolling for Tyra. Yep. Yeah.